Hi, YouTube. Hi, see here. Uh, just letting you know, at the start of this, this is the full Alan Wink game. There are a few copyright issues that I had with the video, so I've had to edit out some of the cutscenes and little bits of it. But this is about as comprehensive a playthrough as you're going to find on YouTube in the lead up towards Alan Wake 2. I had a lot of praise from my Twitch viewers when I was playing this. Originally, I was just going to throw this on the VOD channel, but this game was so good, I wanted to share it with the majority of my audience, which is you guys. So without any further ado, please enjoy this and very much look forward to Alan Wake 2 because I'm going to be playing the hell out of it when it comes out. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest and is what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Where'd the body go? Suddenly, his body was gone. He I was in shock for the tent night. I could hardly stand my feet. I said consult fee, thank you. That's way too much money for a simple consultation. Uh, no. Okay. Alright. Sensitivity immediately is a little bit big. By the way, for those of you who didn't catch that, uh, yesterday, while I was playing Baldur's Gate, Darcy donated a hundred pounds and scared the shit out of me. Thank you very much for that, Darcy. Very much appreciated. This is a delayed one. Turn that down a little bit. <laughs> thank you very much. And thank you, King Obi, for the continuation of your gift subscription, courtesy of Darcy. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Okay. And thank you very much, Ava, for the £10.29. Lizard consultation free fee. The bridge Man. had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. If I could make, like, £10.30 every time I give someone advice about reptiles, I'd be a rich man. If I were a rich man. Uh-oh. Little, 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 I guess I would be a... So oh, Jesus! You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? No? You think you're God? Ow. You think you could just make up stuff? Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? Really, the drama, Mandy. Please jump. Thank you. <laughs> that guy's not very fast. You oh. Your deadline. You can dodge enemy attacks. Damn. Oh, uh, can I change that by any chance? Uh, dodge, 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 dodge. Nope. Okay. You well done. Try again, dodge next attack. Good work. Yay! I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Oh yeah? Weird. Oh. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Uh... 
Uh huh. Uh. <laughs> huh. Okay. Oh, hey, there's a guy there. Hey! I need help! I don't want to die! Hurry! I'm hurrying! Hey. Holy Jesus. Hi. I don't know who you are. I'm already inside. Way ahead of you, buddy. Oh, no. Stop. No. God damn it, die. No, oh, no. that's not good. Ah. <sighs> Trapped. There was no way out. What about? Ooh. Die, 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 uh... Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Windows the no-go. What? Whoa, my camera keeps doing weird things. Let me out! Hey, there we are. Follow the light. Okay. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Go into the safe haven. Stay to safe haven until you're completely healed. Okay. Well done. Thank I you. have something important to tell you. What's up? It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? Jesus? No. Follow my light. Uh... I entered your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. Uh -huh. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Uh huh. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Okay. Turn the flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Okay. Here, take the gun. Now you'll die. Good. You've done well. Huh. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. Thanks. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Aha! Uh -huh. You made me this way, and now I'm going to kill you. Interesting. This is it. Interesting. <laughs> You're dead just like that. 
pick okay so you can stagger them and knock them back with a pistol without ow, without taking away the darkness but in the end the darkness like just makes them invincible very interesting mechanic okay well that guy just dropped off the cliff so he's probably dead i can keep this up please stop Oh, that's not good. Please don't break my lighthouse. I need that. All right. That's not good. He's here. Alan, wake up. <gasps> Shh, baby. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. What would take my stories start trying to kill me? Because I wouldn't stand a goddamn chance. I don't write stories about dudes with axes. I write stories about eldritch horrors that rip people to shreds as easy as blinking. Welcome to Bright Falls. Hey, there's a military man over there. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. I want to go talk to the sure. soldier guy. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Damn, moments yuppies. before he got eaten by a bear. Well, this is already going great. <laughs> Somebody's taking a boat. To the lovely holiday destination junction. Do, 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 do. Somebody feels like a goat because he can barely function. Hey! What the hell Hello you there. doing? You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying it. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Main, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be. Hey. Safe. Not a hard man to track down. This guy's a nice guy. I hope you two have like a this guy. lovely holiday. Hi. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. Your camera's off. That's cute. Honey, right. your camera's not even on. I think she lied to me about taking pictures. Yeah. Hello? Hey, bestseller. That was my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. Jesus Christ, how no, famous is this writer? Fun. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? 
Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. I'm going to turn my phone off. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. Yeah. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you, too. <laughs> Hello, Ruthie. Hope you're having a lovely Alan, day. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Okay. I, I want to drive. Is that not my car? Which one's my car? Is this my car? Aha! Can I drive? Can you drive in this game? We need to stop at the local diner to get oh, the she's driving. from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. I want to drive! Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. I think the cutscene's like 15 Towns frames per second. Everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake <laughs> Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. <laughs> I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. Imagine he being that famous as an author. I'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I okay. I cut out from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. <laughs> oh, God. That Try would be horrible. Do me a Just... favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. I did it. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah. It does that. Get stuck. There you now, go. You need to give it a good solid whack. I whacked now, it. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Hey, I like these guys. These guys are awesome. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. You okay? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Ah, darkness doesn't scare me. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Hello? Mm-hmm. Mr. Stucky? Are you Stucky Wacky in the toy with Wyatt? Uh oh. Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Uh. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Do I have a gun yet? No. Okay. I need to poop. Damn it. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Why does everybody want me to write some books? God damn it. <laughs> Hi. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. What are you holding? Fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. Know. It's been too long already. Even that sounds better than your singing. <laughs> you all right? Splendid, splendid. Damn hernia. It swells up like a What's up, Yogi? If I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah. Splendid, splendid. It's been a long time gone. It's good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? Uh, sorry, guys. Oh. The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. 
What does that have to do with me? Okay. Hi, Mr. Wake. Hi. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Yes, I did, Yogi. We'll be playing that. I don't know if we'll be playing hey, that wait. tomorrow. Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Uh... That diner was a real nut house. I really want to finish Lords <laughs> of the Fallen. We might not even be streaming tomorrow. I might be Can too tired this after this. This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Bad man in here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. And now the weather. It's going to be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while, see those stars winking down at you. That is a beautiful log here. cabin. They'll light your way. Hey, chat, anyone got a spare million bucks so I can get a house like that? <laughs> Just a spare million bucks. I mean, come on. <laughs> what a beautiful game. It's gorgeous, Alan. Half it's as so garbage cool, right? as you. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. I do. Do you need some? Uh, yes, please. Uh, one mil- uh, a small loan of a million dollars would mean that I could, uh, set up a reptile room for you guys to watch 24-7. There you go. And maybe I'll write a book. <laughs> what an absolutely staggeringly beautiful place. Come on. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? I don't know, there's someone upstairs. Hello? Anyone here? Uh, but you're writing a book? Yeah, but I'll finish the book. Eh. Small loan of a million dollars. Hello? For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Ah! <sighs> Damn. All right. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. Ah, uh, it's probably outside. <gasps> Ow. <laughs> First damage of the main campaign. I took it while jumping down a set of stairs. Wait, what was that? Oh. Your fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist, no less. God damn it. You said you'd keep it a secret, old man. You lied to me. Our cable goes to that shed over there. I know. Thanks, honey. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Hmm. Maybe it would. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Okay. 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 I'll look around a bit. Yeah, I want to see who's in the basement. Have fun. Thank you. Oh, I want to see who's on. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my. Love work. this game so much. I've never played it. This is my first time. I thought we could be happy here. Someone needs to clean that house with a black light. Somebody's taking a train to Snoo Snoo Junction. 
do 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 somebody's gonna get drained dry sweets barely functions do 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 oh the fuck honey alan i'm upstairs this is the train well hello there i'm not the surprise it's in the study go take a look Oh. Uh, okay. Oh. I thought you were in the right. Now I'm up to- Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn it, Alice, you- Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic. <sighs> He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not. What the Alan? shit? Alan? I don't. Just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Fuck, <sighs> man. That sucks. Damn it. <sighs> Alice? Uh oh. Alice? No, no, no! Alice! The uh oh. had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alice! Alice! Where are you? I'm coming! Alice! I'm coming! Ow! Right, I'm coming! No! What the hell? Alice? That was a hell of a scream. Oh no! Can she not swim? Keep going, Alice. <gasps> Wake up. Alice? What the hell? Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. What? Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma. By a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. Uh. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. What the hell? Can I just like... Shortcut? I feel like I'll die if I do this. Right? I'm pretty sure that's death. Ha! <laughs> huh. I wonder why I thought that. How weird. <laughs> the gas station was my best bet. It I died by a bush. It looked like a Remember, lads, the to get there. trim your hedge. Don't let it be unkempt or you might die. Evidently. Damn. Sorry, it was a shay car anyway. <laughs> I go down that way either. <laughs> Running through the forest like a wild open sleigh. Hello? There is a light up ahead. Made me feel really great. Hello? Is someone there?
The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. <sighs> Departure by Alan Wake. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us, but the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. Interesting. So is that actually gonna happen? Is this like one of those, you die in the game, you die in real life, but. Anybody there? Please, but I've been in, in an this, accident. You die in the book, you die in real life. <laughs> This isn't a game. This is a story. Hello? The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. That'd be great. That would be great, actually. <laughs> I'm going this way, away from the noise. Please. Never mind. I'm, in an accident. I'm going this way, towards the noise. Yay! Hey, hey, you! Phil, there's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Oh hell, Carl Stucky. Please, beat you. Non-refundable. Reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Ah. Oh. Fair and square. Oh shit. The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. I don't have a flashlight. I don't have a flashlight. Oh, okay. You arrive, you lose. It's the lady. Oh god. Great. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. I've never seen The Shining. Oh, that's convenient. During your record, trying walking, it's the latest thing. Incontestably proven to let you. One stone. You can see the yes. sights and mm. pick those cards. Right full, sure. Hello? Hello? Oh, that's not good. This is bad. Oh, that's really bad. Jesus Christ! Okay. There were more of them. My head pounded with a concussion. 
caution. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone. Or something. There were no bodies. What is yellow? They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Or is that an arrow? Oh, that might be an arrow. Oh, there are arrows. There's arrows pointing me this way. Huh? Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. What? Huh? Okay. Interesting. Very in interesting. Oh, I could have just done... Oh. Very interesting. Why did I kick that? Did it disable the this? Was yes. The last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station and report yourself for a murder. It's going to be a triple homicide, apparently. Jesus. Excuse me, officer. Yes, I killed three people. Why? I think I need psychiatric help, please. <laughs> By the way, here's my gun. Oh. Um, Rose Day Dreams by Wake. She had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. Dark has a con? I didn't confident, know that. At ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Uh, oh, she wants to fuck me. Oh, that's no bueno. I am a unhappily married man. Please keep that coochie away from my face. It is not acceptable. Thank you and goodbye. Ooh. I love that there's revolver ammo inside an emergency container. I guess maybe if there's bears, right? Oh god, am I gonna have to fight a bear? Like a shadow demon bear. I could am what was that? I could imagine his turgid cock raging in his pants in a torrent of hurtling bloody fire, craving to devour my internal organs. That's what Rose was writing. I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. His thirsty gaze undressed me lavishously, leaving me feeling flushed and heated as he turned to me. Licking his luscious lips with his perfect tongue, his mouth opened and he asked, Can I have a caramel latte, please? I came instantly. <laughs> I couldn't stop coming. <laughs> Barry's arrival. Barry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that, not sleeping. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake, and he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. Are you writing a Wattpad fanfiction? I'm just continuing what Rose was writing. Now <laughs> that's next level Carby service. Coffee service. You guys are misunderstanding. Alan Wake was the customer and she was the barista. This game is gorgeous. Stucky was still out there in the dark, stalking me. Stucky Wucky! Stucky Wucky! Oh my god, Stucky! Wait, so who was the creepy old lady that gave me a key to a random ass cabin? Ruh-roh, Raggy! I think I got duped! 
Reggie, we're gonna die! <sighs> oh no. How much of this game did you miss? Uh, 40 minutes. It's been 40 minutes. So far, I don't know what I was expecting with Alan Wake, but so far, this game has been phenomenal. Like, actually really bloody good. I'm surprised. Obviously, this is the remastered. I don't know if the remastered is the exact same as the original, but this, I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. The Taken, taken. are filled the with taken. darkness. I hear breathing. Weird. Okay. We have 20 batteries. How many batteries are too many batteries? Ow. Uh, probably gonna go this way. Point. Ow. Me cankles! Have you ever seen a man? The a man? Was broken. A man. I'm gonna make my way up some other way. This man is unlike anything you've ever seen. He makes you, he takes you, he feels like a queen. Can't carry anything anymore. Willies. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Yeah, right over here. I'm gonna get smacked in the head. Well, man, it's almost like I'm a goddamn prophet. He's the man of your dreams. He's a man of great means. He's a man that will make you feel good. He's the man in the trees. He's the man that of. He's a man that never wheezes. I don't know. I ran out. I heard them before I, I saw them. <laughs> swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. The camera moving is making you motion sick. Damn, Darcy, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm really enjoying this game. Um, Video commentary. What is video commentary? I, I'll, I'll see what that is. There's no... I hate motion blur, so I can't put motion blur on. I can raise up the HUD... Or the FOV, sorry. Maybe that'll help. You have any predictions? Hello, Duff. I'm pretty sure we got into a car accident and I'm in a coma. It's not you, it's me. Don't worry about it. I mean, obviously I'm going to worry about it. I want everyone here to have a good time. Tell me not to worry about it. It's just silly. Oh, hey, I need to lure that down here. Okay, I can do that. Mm. Ow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
You know what? That's a valid prediction. I mean, it just seems accurate considering, like, the way things have gone so far. He woke up in a car accident right there. So he's, like, either in a coma or he's, men he's mentally ill and imagining all this shit. Um, the alternative would be, if we want to go the horror route... The woman was, is, is basically, there's an, an eldritch power or some horror power that uses imagination and, like, to create things, to make things come to life. And that woman knew that and deliberately lured Alan Wake onto the island where that thing was, like, sourced so that it could feed off his imagination and bring some more nightmares to life to kill everyone in the sand. If you want to go the horror route. But if you want to go the normal route, I'm pretty goddamn sure it's a coma. <laughs> Imagination. Thank you very much for the gift sub, Ava. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night I had. I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. <laughs> mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like... The forest is quietly breathing along with This guy with an axe looks like a pinnacle of imagination. Oh, well, the imagination comes from the like setting sack. up in the studio. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am. And it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hmm. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walkie. Oh, isn't it beautiful Walkies. out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's Aww. a friendly dog? <laughs> Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but when we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Interesting. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks. You have a good night now. I mean, one of the other options, I'm I'm an author, right? I mean, I'm Alan freaking Wake, but I haven't been able to write for two years. Two years of not writing because of mental issues. That kind of implies that maybe Alan's also just snapped here, right? Maybe he murdered his wife in a... a paranoid schizophrenic re frenzy and now it has his mind's just broken and he's imagining that everyone is demons around him so he's going on a killing spree that would be the darker sort of oh my god what's going on thing but it sounds more like it's uh at first i kept finding the pages as if by accident the book i couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Because there are people who have gone on complete rampages because they've mentally just snapped and don't perceive reality anymore. The gas station was closer now. The it's idea like of a mystery... Oh. <laughs> hey guys! We figured out what the video commentary was! Oh god. Fun fact, I couldn't dodge there. Why? Why can't I? Why is my dodge not working? Why am I just sprinting?
making sure nothing could get me from behind that time with a flare gun. <laughs> Are you staying awake until you finish? That is the plan right now. Uh, that's why I'm kind of... Kind of taking it easy with the screens and stuff. Unless something happens like a migraine or anything like that, we should be good to just rock and roll until the game's done. It's going to be a long stream. I need to go up there? Fucking ow, dudes! I don't have anywhere near enough uh, ammunition. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen talking like a madman. Interesting. I realized what I was doing wrong, by the way. I was pressing space instead of just shift and W, S, and D. So I was jumping instead of dodging like a dum dum. Sounds like a shotgun territory. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? She asked. Earth <clears throat> looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up. And she wouldn't help me find Alice. Jesus. I wonder if Alice doesn't exist. Like, Alice is just... I mean, no, because Barry said hi to well no because barry didn't say oh shit barry sent him a text saying hi to her too maybe that was a lie maybe she didn't exist well no because the old man did say did mention his wife that wouldn't make sense never mind never mind i'm going all weird with the conspiracy theories and they don't make sense anymore <laughs> immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, A Quantum Suicide. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference. Do we want Dr. to Margaret watch this? Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barkley Colvin. Good. Okay. We'll watch I'm this. I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration. <laughs> Thank you for joining me here at the Moorcock Institute. Here, we are determined to find a way to grow from five inches to eight. 
interpretation of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded nine millimeter pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself... Ask ladies in chat that question, Regrub. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this oh! one thing did not Oh, he unplugs the... Here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools! Gaze upon quantum immortality! Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Filled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Thank you, ladies and chat. Curiosity often kills the cat <laughs> in night springs. <laughs> Regrub's like, is it even a penis if I can't use it as a walking stick? <laughs> anyway, moving on. I can't wait for the next episode. That was really good. I had, that was well worth watching. Is it murder if you try if you commit quantum suicide? Because you're killing yourself in another reality. It can be dangerous. Fires, no patience. The engine box makes having tools. Bounce. Easy and fatal. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reached the lights of the gas station alive. Mm. That's a big assumption. Anonymous! Thank you very much for the ten pound. Uh, if you forgot to put your name in, uh, put, uh, put it in chat. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Thank you. I wonder if it's possible to do this game as a pacifist. Like, not killing anyone, just running in circles and burning things with light. And opening up the doors. No? Oh, fair enough. <clears throat> I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Why is there an abandoned car up here? Weird. Would boinking your clone count as maturation or set inset? I don't... Like, okay, we've had this After conversation the before. I just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the same world reasserted itself. 
The second your clone becomes distinct from you, it becomes a different person, right? You are completely different people the second it starts having independent thoughts from you because you're having different thoughts at that point. Now, you should not breed with a clone of yourself that has just had its X and Y chromosomes swapped because that would, that would be incest and that would make babies with three eyes and weird noses. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across Thank you for the, the best floor list. while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. I want this man to read my book. He has a beautiful voice. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is a quantum reality. This is a quantum reality. We're an alternate Alan Wake who lost Alice because the lights went out. Okay, okay, I think I figured it out. This might be wrong. But in the beginning, that was a reality for that Alan Wake, right? That Alan Wake managed to drive safely, get to a house, and then his wife, Alice, died. This woman that gave him the keys knew about this quantum thing and tried to lure him into a situation where he would feel compelled to write to influence an alternate reality where she wanted something achieved. So what, what that Alan Wake has done because his wife is dead and drowned, he is now writing under the understanding that his story is influencing another reality where he can potentially take the Alice from that reality and bring it to his reality. And our Alan Wake is experiencing that Alan Wake story. I don't believe this. Maybe be me on the TV talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Which would be kind of messed up. Uh Okay, interesting. There's no phone here. Why isn't there a phone? Oh, there's a phone. <laughs> Hi. Rainfall Sheriff Station. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen. I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wade. We were staying in a cabin on the island. Where's the gas on station Cauldron owner? Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Previously on Alan Wake, I came to my calls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? I woke up behind the wheel <laughs> yeah, of a car. <laughs> I'm missing a week. I was attacked by... I want to see the rest of the stream, mate. It's a microtransaction. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. That's a microtransaction. Thank you for the five pound. Ava Orchid paid the subscription for all of you. Welcome to chapter two. Thank you, Ava. Very cool. It was a joke, by the way. You didn't need to do that. 
Everyone thank Ava for the five pound Howdy. subscription. I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. Give me 10 to end the stream. You, you give me 10,000 pound, I'll end the stream. Oh man, that weather looks amazing. This apartment looks amazing. It's only a one bed though. No, it looks like there's more bedrooms over here. It's a kitchen. That's probably bathroom. That would be second bedroom. Office slash study hey, here. Handsome. This is gonna be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. Second office here. Coffee, then. I'll go put it on. Okay, so that'll be bathroom, that'll be master bedroom then. Office, second office. I could have... I could have my computer in here, a nice little desk set up in here. Right? And then just out here, okay, I could get rid of all this crap that's in here. On this wall, stretching floor to ceiling, I could have arboreal vivariums. Split this in three, maybe. Have an emerald tree boy here, emerald tree skinks here, and crested geckos here. Have a long, low eight foot by four foot here for a tegu. And then I could have a storage rack here. I could have the cameras up on the roof here. And then on this side could be the blue tongue skink with the leopard geckos on top. And then I could have a pool here for the caiman. Ooh, the only problem with this area is there's too many windows. I need a, I need a, I need a home. If you got rid of those two windows there and just had that as an entire reptile corner, perfect. Unfortunately, not my house. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. <laughs> Did you just say came in? Oh, yes. Hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. Came in cider. Tell me what you think. No Dark. kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to think so last night. Dingleberry. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. Oh. <gasps> Alan? Hey. Alan, please check the fuse box. You're I'm right okay. here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry! Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hey. Hi. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, Ryder. Okay. <clears throat> I missed I a manifest? I didn't realize there was, was one. A kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. Black clicker. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. A beautiful apartment. Right. Oh, so apparently I missed the manuscript hmm. page. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake? How are you feeling? I'm awake! Oh, Jesus. I wish I was. I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets if you any come here from fishing experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you. 
She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. This man was Doc fishing. Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. This man was fishing. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, I she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. What a lovely man. Um, I... would love to go fishing. The only problem is I wouldn't want to fish, catch something, and then not eat it. And all the fishing in the UK now, obviously everything's massively polluted all across the world. So probably eating wild caught fish is not the smartest idea. Missing. Back for winning contest. Mm. Hey. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. I could also. Like, I could uh, like, catch and release. Sea fishing is just as bad. Have you Ember. started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching Mr. you. Mr. Wake, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Thank Just you. don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. Could you imagine if this was like a mixture between uh, the quantum world thing that I mentioned earlier and his wife making this shit up to get him to write? Could you imagine if your wife put you through this shit Alice looked through the view to make you write? Lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection that of would be bullshit, that would shit, wouldn't shit. it? That'd be divorce, I think. That would be a divorce territory. We can do this for your books. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Or wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. This is Thornton. Look, we've located the gray float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. No, oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Chains out. I killed Stucky. Oh, God. Hey! Hey, you! Can you help me? Can you turn the lights on? Yeah, sure. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know, I shouldn't even be in here. The cops, they got it all wrong. See, sure, sure, sure. I beat him up. I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterward. Right. Okay, listen. Listen, listen. You gotta listen carefully now. <laughs> that wasn't Danny. No, sir. It only looked like him. Uh huh. You wanna know who it really was? I tell you who it really was. 
Aliens. It was a goddamn space alien! <laughs> uh huh. I know it sounds like something that a drunk would say, but believe me, I wasn't drunk then. Okay. Have a good day, mister. Thanks for your input. I told him, oh yeah, well, I don't hear. <laughs> In spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. Interesting. Yes, where are you? Very interesting. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. I mean, that's the right, but I'm looking for her loot. Well, folks, it's been another long It's too early to tell Heller. I do like the doctor. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> Just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows. Even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their Deer Fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? No point in getting all worked up yet. Interesting. Huh? Something just popped up for interacting. What was that? Oh. Oh. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Okay. Sorry, I'm still looking for loot. <laughs> we don't have a pistol anymore. Or a flashlight. Sorry, but you randomly jumping just made me laugh. Fair enough. <laughs> That's what I do. That's my job. I kick it. Fucking hell, Alan Wake has a nightmare of a kick. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall in the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Interesting. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Hmm. Aww. The writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness, the way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Interesting. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. Let me know they if I'm missing any obvious manuscripts, actions, of course, by the way. I can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. 
but I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. That's what I think I'd mistaken. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Take it easy. Is that Barry? Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, <laughs> his agent. <laughs> if you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. <laughs> Get me out of here. Barry's a yes man. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. Barry Mother to to someone. Wheeler. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. What a car. I had a midnight Jesus. appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Oh, God. Barry, you found him. Keep it in your pants. Wow, I was just thinking about you, too. Keep it in right. your pants. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony. Put a hair dryer in your nice. underwear. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. Bye. See you later, smugglers. Thank you for popping by. Who's Max? Now, a woman needs a boyfriend. Head. Jeez, Mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl, and more importantly, a fan. Uh huh. This guy of Colombian mammoth. This spearman estimated. <laughs> Sorry, I had the burpees. <clears throat> this specimen, estimated to be 14,000 years old, was recovered from the Labrie Tar Pits in 1981. It was donated to the Elderwood National Park in 1998, when the Columbian mammoth became Washington State's fossil. The Bucktooth Charlie has since become the mass uh, park's official mascot. Interesting. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy? And his body just disappeared? I mean, yeah. When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do you and understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Like I said, no body, no crime? I, I don't think that's realistic. <laughs> Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Pet the dog. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Alan, pet the Would dog. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from Alan, the pet the dog. It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Alan, pet the fucking okay. dog! Sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot Al, in a You trap. can't just go and meet a kidnapper. No, Those situations always end up in disaster. Some low lives. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole Hello, thing. Terry. Thank you for resubscribing with Prime. You hit I your appreciate head. it. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all Pat this is. Pat the dog. Pat the dog. the dog. I think this is the form you Pat want. the dog. And here are the keys. Pat the dog. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Pat the dog. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Pat the dog. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. Pat the it's dog. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Pat the dog. Pat the dog. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. 
At the dog. Oh, and hey, if you take a walk in the woods, watch your step so you don't end up like Max. At the dog. I guess I'm a little worried. We got a bunch of campers out there we haven't heard from. It's not like these people are on a schedule, but with the traps, well, you know. I At just the dog. don't want any trouble. Right. Hey, thank you, Hothead. That's very kind of you to say. Hope you enjoy your stay. At the dog. Alright, guys, we're ending the stream here. I'm all F4ing. I'm not, I refuse. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I'm kidding. <laughs> I can't believe it won't let me pet the dog. If you try to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Look, to really get into the spirit of this wake-a-thon, you should flex you your writing skills for us every stream. Into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms. I mean, there's nothing to flex. I'm not a very good writer. White shirts with two long tangled up sleeves and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. <laughs> You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour long lecture on homeopathy last month. <laughs> what was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit, period. Guess the laugh's on me then. Al, come on! I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. <sighs> All right, okay, here we go. Every chapter, I'll, I'll read a paragraph from my book. Here's one of the more recent ones. How about that? And you guys can critique it for me. <clears throat> As the sun began to kiss the horizon goodnight in flushed hues of crimson, Lyra found herself sitting by the window, thoroughly and utterly bored by the originally entrancing intricacies of her room. Alphers had become succinctly standoffish after the original encounter, clearly not sure what to make of the slip of the girl that followed in the shadow of the soon-to-be-retired hero, and too polite to broach such a line of questioning. There was absolutely nothing else to do in the large empty halls of Hero's Rest beside rest with her head on her hands and huff dramatically at how restless she felt, or roam her room in unceasing circles, adjusting her new clothes and playing with the gorgeous bracelet that locked around her wrist, admiring the way it caught the dying embers of the sun. It was in such a fugue state of restlessness that Lyra found herself... Oh, oh, sorry. It was in such a fugue state of restlessness that Lyra found herself in when the sudden, slightly muted yell of a pained animal broke her free from a reverie and found herself pl near plastered against the window, seeking the source of the discomforting noise. There you go. Spoiler alert, it's a puppy. All right. Where's the keys? Over right here, I guess. It's a Vara. Thank you very much for the Prime. Appreciate it. These more modern skulls. Hey, actually, I need to split that paragraph up. It's a bit of a long paragraph with really Al. long sentences. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI? Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, <laughs> Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cabin. Gil, that is a goddamn lie, but I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> it's got worse allergies than me. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. <laughs> this is so not worth a 15% commission. I'll give you 16%. 16 and a half? Should probably keep the lights on. Sounds great. I see left me wanting more. I was going to say, I'll just pick random chapters from the book to read out. Okay? In celebration of Alan Wake. And then by the time Alan Wake 2... When does Alan Wake 2 come out? Oh shit, this is Epic Games, there's no... Is my VPN on? It is not! My payment has failed! I will need to do that, god damn it! Why do I have no money? Um... Alan Wake 2 release date. 27th of October. I'll need to write a few more chapters for Alan Wake 2 coming out then. 
Yeah. Oh, I miss. Somebody's taking a train. Lover's Peak. All right. Colonel. Hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirits every step of the way, Al. Walk me the door now. Okay. Thanks for your help, buddy. Not. <laughs> uh, Barry Darts, wait, Sunny. He had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. Yeah. It's coming out this month. Why do I have to be out of money? I know the feeling. I do know the feeling. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'm I'd looking ever for a done, radio but tower. I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Mm. Shadow crows. Shadow crow jutsu. I didn't know when I said Shadow Crow Jutsu that they would actually Shadow Crow Jutsu the hell out of here. That's <laughs> unexpected. <laughs> oh no, internet, please don't die now. Why are you dying, internet? Hello. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your Deer Fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, no plan, really. Just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too much more than you. Much more than uh... Tell me about it. No sack race for us older gentlemen. Huh? Okay? <laughs> I'm not crazy. There was a man walking past that window, right? Well, that takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I, I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a heck of a largemouth bass early this morning. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. Uh huh. It's no fun if I need to worry about what I'm catching, you know? Uh huh. Now, considering your track record, the participants are probably pretty happy you feel that way. Conspiracy of faith. <laughs> well, that, that's kind of you to say. Interesting. Where did that dude go? NGL, that spooked me. <laughs> also, I think I'm stuck. Oh, dear God. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Make sure to stay hydrated. I got a bottle of water here, and I'll be refilling it in about... Half an hour. I wasn't scared. Oh, shit. Oh, that's no bueno. Uh, okay. Shit, there's another one of these! Crime and punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. <sighs> but some crimes are impossible to punish. Especially in Night Spring. Trying to. Tonight's episode. There we go. The man in the mirror. 
Yeah. You had dinner? Yes. I had rice, chicken, and curry sauce. No vegetables, though. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? And it's coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists? Wow, that sentence really flows, huh? Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face? Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh, how about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. But the white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? <laughs> I left my mark. Believe me. You, you bastard. What? You gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. I... I don't understand any of this. And you never will. Don't worry. Maybe you'll see me again, Agent. Maybe in the mirror. Interesting. Man in the mirror. So the quantum thing, the idea of the quantum thing came up just before the TV show about Alan Wake. So am I going to be having to shoot out mirrors soon? It's possible. Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. But man, that Alan Wake guy sure knows how to flood a woman's panties. It was like a tsunami in there. <laughs> what is it? What is it they say from Archer? Sploosh, right? <laughs> Sploosh. <laughs> Archer's such a great show. Uh, huh. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten, drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Oh, shit. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Oh my god, Rusty, no! I liked Rusty! He was helping the doggy! I wonder if we'll have... The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. Shit. 
Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found. Came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must... The lights. In the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Archer is amazing. Really funny show. Why has the mammoth turned its head? That's scary. Um. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have taken his. Good boy. Oh, pet the doggy. 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 Fucking hell, Alan! So upset. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Where's the power switch? Oh. That was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. Shit. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for Thank the killer blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. There was no way to get the lights back on. Oh. Oh. Rusty. Rusty. Max! Max! Some Max! I torn a mammoth sized hole in Please the wall. Please don't feed the animals. Shit. Fishing! Is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park fishing oh. license. Oh. I'm very confused for a second there. Um. Oh. The crimson bitch has visited Smugless, so she can't sleep. Sorry, crim. Uh, sorry, Smugless. Um. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way. Felt the broken rib stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, was there a way to... to stop that from happening? I think that guy might be immortal. I think I just wasted all my ammo. Oopsie daisy! Obey! The Park Ranger's instructions. At all times. Rusty? Rusty, no! Rusty. Never. Don't approach closer than 100 yards. Two bears and wolves. Rusty, Never don't, don't do this. Don't do this, Rusty. Stop! Stop! Leave your pet unattended.
Let me get some rips in chat for Rusty. He really was a lovely young man, and he was taken too soon. By me, with a gun. But still, you know, really sad. You know what this game is missing? This game is missing a driving mechanic. Never mind, this game is perfect. Sorry I said anything. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, no, be not. careful. I'll do my Stay best. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Not even me, when I'm screaming and crying and shitting. A six pack. Oh, damn. Uh, oh. Damn, hey, Battle Gamer. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens, but she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. Oh. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. <sighs> Damn. Damn. Uh, T Battle Gamer, I haven't pre ordered it and I haven't applied for a game key either. Um, more likely than not, I'll just have to buy it. I don't know if it's available on. Um. Key Mailer. Or Terminals IO, but. Generally speaking, I have terrible luck with bigger companies. So I just don't even try. If I still had Twitter, I might be able to get in contact with someone and be like, Hey, I love your game. Because I've never played this before, and this game was absolutely phenomenal. Using Google Farm to accept requests. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I'm thoroughly enjoying this, though. This game is so... I am I'm honestly upset that I haven't played this before now. This cave was... Site of frequent and lucrative bitlagger activity throughout the prohibition. It was mostly used for temporary storage of alcohol smuggled in from Canada. Oh, Canada. Go back to bagging milk, you freaks of nature. <laughs> in bag milk. I can't get over that. Who bags milk? There's something wrong with that. Like, something terribly wrong with that. I can share the link if you want. Uh, no, thank you, T Battle Gamer. I don't trust a Google form. To do something like that, especially if it requests personal information. So as much as I am pleased that you're trying to help, I would rather not put my personal identifying information into a random Google form that I can't verify the source of. Sorry. Again, nothing against you. Nothing personal. I'm just very secretive about my personal information. And if a company as big as this one is doing... Uh, Google Forms. I don't really want to do that because that's not a safe way to store someone's data. speaks that way. What's down here? <clears throat> oh, I think that's where we came from? No, that is not where we came from. Interesting. How do I get down there? I see a manuscript page. Uh... Well, it's not that way. I guess we can go towards Lover's Peak and hopefully we get end up that way. 
Uh, hell or duff, that's a lot of work. Unfortunately, and it can be quite disruptive to some scary games. Um, I appreciate the idea, though. It is an interesting idea. Maybe something we can do for next year. But not this year. I literally just remade all of my alerts. So that we have a cute little goose going across the screen. I don't want to... I don't want to lose that already. I'm so happy with those alerts. Um, Nobody in Bright Falls seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry could tell, Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated, but she really tried to help. She was smart, too. Knew a lot about what was going on in the town. Knew a lot about Al. Even knew who Barry was. Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. When it came to women, Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. Interesting. You love the geese. Of course you do. Everyone loves the geese. I wish I could have the names pop up as well, but that's just, again, not in stream elements purview. Welcome back, DMMH. Good to see you. Uh, have we been up here? No, no, we have not. Yoink, yoink. I'm not really the biggest fan of the shotgun. I'm really not. Weirdly enough, you'd think normally for video games, I'm like shotgun, yay. In this game, I'm more like shotgun, meh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll use it if I have no ammo left, but other than that, no. Yeah. <laughs> Where was that manuscript that we saw? It must be up there. Okay. Hey, nice one, DMM. I'm glad to hear it. Okay, I'm I'm completely lost now. Um, I swear I'm going back the way I came. Hiking trail. Lover's Peak. Okay, here we go. Let's follow this. Mind you have a tame evil within? Um, I'm getting more of a... What was that game called? Deadly Premonition vibe. With less bugs. It's the way the character moves and the way the creatures behave. Ah, 
Ah, there's the manuscript. Ever played that one? Me neither, but I have seen some people try to play it. Very buggy game. Very, very buggy game, that one. of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, yeah, we're still flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew, and more. Interesting. I wonder if we're going to be coming across that soon. Ah. Guys, you gotta stop wasting axes on perfectly good electronics. A pair of scissors will do just as good a job as an axe. Bear alert. Isn't that phenomenal news? It'd be really funny if a shadow man attacked us and then out of nowhere a bear just destroyed it. Like, I'm going to kill you. Oh, God. So I don't know why Alan isn't grabbing any axes. Probably because using an axe when you have a gun is a terrible idea. I have a gun, I have ammunition. In what world would I swap that for an axe? In what world? No, I'd much rather just go bang, 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 bang. That's when I seem to have infinite ammo. I seem to have infinite ammo, Darcy. Every time I start getting low, I find more. That's Lover's Peak. What's over here? <clears throat> Is that a gong? Oh, it's a target. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Destroying your national monument! <laughs> Anybody in the night? <laughs> no? Okay. We got it here. <laughs> You're in a small hunting town? A small hunting town, I'm sure, would be far more likely to have double barrel... Not double barrel. Um, 20 bore shotguns. And, uh... <clears throat> uh, rifles. Like 308s and 22s. Than a revolver. Because you don't really hunt with a revolver. Agent Nightingale didn't want to be in Bright Falls. These little communities revolted him, and he didn't like the trees or the coffee. He now knew that impossible horrors lurked behind the storefronts and smiles. He desperately wanted to turn the car around and just drive until he passed out or ran out of road and booze. But he had a job to do. He had a rider to catch, at any cost. Any cost? $10,000 and I'll let you catch me. <laughs> Uh, maybe $20,000. I am a writer. A successful writer. <clears throat> this is not going to go terribly wrong, is it? Well, apparently it was not going to go terribly wrong. How are me surprised? If I make the other side safely in this thing... I, I will eat my shards. Something bad's good. There's gonna be like a flock of crows or something.
I'm a prophet. <laughs> I'm Jesus. We gotta get moving. More of them coming. Okay. I trust you with my life. That flashlight's kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. Okay. Eva, I was correct. I don't need to eat my shorts. You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but- Let's move! I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. Oh, great. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Blake. Better keep up. You wanna actually hit the fucking guys? So-called agent! Bro can't even hit guys! Freaking finally. Lover's peak. Right up these stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. No can do, Wake. <laughs> Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for back talk. Pull them off, damn it. Scare him off! We'll get some light on those bastards! That'll keep them off us! Just a little longer! I almost got it! Okay, it's over. Over the loop! Okay. Oh, you feeling better now, Wake? All cozy and safe. Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. This guy's a dick. Like a raging Willy. I don't like this guy. Can I kill this guy? Why did Rusty have to die, but this guy lived? This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more players here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun! They're coming! That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. <laughs> I don't think that was the program. <laughs> stand. There's more players here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun! They're coming! That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. Oh shit! That guy threw that through the bloody thing!
Okay. Thank you. You bet. Anytime you want to finish him off, buddy. Good job. Uh, Smugless, if you're having lag, turn the quality down. Christ. They got flares? No, I had one left. I was saving it for an emergency. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were going to say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're going to bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript. Or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her mouth. Ah! 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 Fuck's sake, Alan. Stop punching people. Obsessed with Alice. He had Alice, and he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. And I'll pick that one up. There we go. <clears throat> I mean, I guess he is, you know, she is his wife. So it makes a little bit of sense that he would be slightly obsessed. <laughs> my wife is dying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh shit, there's a lot of pages On in this. more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else, something foreign. And nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I'd never really understood what she meant until now. Yeah. I mean, this darkness definitely has a tangent, a uh, uh, tangible and malign presence. I'd say even it's probably malevolent at this point. Not just malign or malicious. It had a shiny icon on it. I thought, hey, that would be nice. It wasn't nice. It was a bear trap. Is 
there a manuscript back here? Oh, there's a bear trap though. Your har fiddly dee. Being a pirate is alright with me. Know what y'all want because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Uh, that's the way I came from. Okay. Yo ho ho in a vast. Being a pirate is really badass. Hoist the black flag at the end of the mass. You are a pirate. You're horror, me hearties. Jesus Christ, how many traps do you need? What are they trying to catch? Oh, a manuscript. Hello. Yoink. Sarah didn't care about the legal threats Wake's agent had made. She let Wake go without argument because there was something about him she couldn't quite put her finger on, something that reminded her of her father. She didn't think Wake would hurt his wife. Then she thought about the way he waded into Hartman, that hair trigger rage flaring up without warning. What? Hey! Gun physics. So wait, huh? Alan was, Alan like threatened Sarah with legal action? Who's Sarah? Hang on. Who the hell was Sarah? Who's Sarah? Oh, Sarah is the sheriff. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. Fast little bastards, aren't they? And getting faster. <laughs> Running out of ammo. That's not good. Okay. Not creepy at all. Not creepy whatsoever. Nope. 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 And nope. That's not good. I really don't want to use my flare on one guy. Oh, there we go. A freaking honey rifle. That's more like it. <laughs> nice. Uh, huh. The night had been one desperate situation after another. I was exhausted and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. Oh, great! Wouldn't it be funny if none of this stuff would happen if you didn't read a single manuscript? Like, by reading the manuscript, we were making stuff become real. So technically, I killed Alice just by reading. I don't know if funny is the right word. <laughs>
Oh, we wish you had not. Shut up! Uh, is there something in there? There's a thermos in there. How do I get in there? Ah, so like the story completely changes if you don't read a single, single note. Because <clears throat> obviously everyone's first playthrough, you'll read all the notes because you'll be curious. They're very highlighted and they're out in the open. I had heard the plane fall. It made no sense. It was clear that it had just fallen here, but it was very old and obviously hadn't flown in decades. Looking at it sent a shiver down my spine. Ra rapid decomposition of resources. Materials. As if inflicted by a pox of time. I really like that sentence. Ooh. Ooh. As if inflicted by a pox of time. Am I the only one that thinks that's a great sentence? Where the hell was the... It was like pointing me up here. I guess we're not getting that secret loot this time. Oh no, I made that up, Pleasant Nights. That that one wasn't from the game. When I saw the plane, I was just like, oh yeah, that's a pox of time. <laughs> that's how I see the world. Uh, I feel like I am... Oh... I get it. Pox is a really fun word, yeah. <laughs> Ravi nice try, Raviola. Nice try. Oh, oh, that was close. <clears throat> that could have been fatal. Oh, the voice actor for this game seems to be phenomenal. No. I really wish there was a way to... I'm stuck. I really wish there was a way to dodge out of the way from these guys. While I'm on the thing. There doesn't seem to be a button press I can do to actually get out of the animation. I think at this point you've killed half the town at least. No! The towns can have upwards of 10,000 people living in them. I'm nowhere near that. Some towns have a higher population than cities in the UK. Good 
because we have really weird laws around what's allowed to be a city. Namely, you have to—I believe you have to have a cathedral in the UK to be classified as a city still. And then the queen has to approve it. Well, king now. Queen's dead. Long live the king. Oh shit! Oh shit! That was close. Something about those winds that sound make this really scary. I mean, the, the idea behind the wind sounds, I think, is that's the darkness coming in, right? That's the darkness spreading its influence. It's an elevator. Oh, whoops. Mm. Long punch noises for stepping on the darkness get I think if I'd been just a little bit more patient, I could have just walked across that. Yes. <laughs> God damn it. Why am I so impatient? When Barry saw the darkness attack the visitor center, it made him a believer. The men Al said he'd shot, they hadn't been just locals on crank. Somehow the world had changed, like the channel had been switched without warning. You think you're watching a sitcom and you're really watching a horror show. When the birds started attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised, just terrified. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. So Barry's about to be attacked by birds. Couldn't we call Barry and be like, hey dude, make sure your lights are on. Is uh, the birds are coming. We have a phone. Surely some pre-warning would be nice for the fella. The logging site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Bored, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. Okay? So what now? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. A darkness blocks phone signals. We haven't seen anything to point towards that yet, Regrub. Oh, here we go. Okay. Bloody hell. <laughs> spooky, spooky. Spooky, spooky. See you later, Heller. Darkness wears her face. Be aware of Widowmakers. Okay. Was that aware enough? You let me know if I need to be more aware. I'll be right here waiting. <laughs> I'm 
super guy. Jesus Christ, we've completely messed him up. Ugh. Get up. Uh, Wake feels dark. Shadow presence. stirred and the wind picked up as I ran through the forest. I felt the dark presence turning its gaze toward me. Still there, Heller. And the moonlight was blotted out by mind. dark shadows that raced violently across the ground, moving too swiftly to be natural. Darkness gathered between the trees and melted again to reveal the taken. No natural path had brought them here. Interesting. So the Taken can teleport. Oh, hey! Nice. Ten rounds for the hunting rifle now. Um. Ah, here we go. Okay, all right. Bats are nice. Bats I can handle. It's the crows that are the problem. Damn dirty goddamn crows. Being all crow and shit. <laughs> dirty goddamn corvid ladies. With their sexy asses. And their hot Alright. does have a really nice coat doesn't he it's, it's like a, an over jacket mixed with it with a hoodie underneath and then a shirt underneath that he's gonna be hella warm though like god damn man's cooking in that outfit <clears throat> Oh! Probably should have gotten so close to that. What the hell? Dude had a freaking chainsaw. It's a bit far, isn't it? Logging is indeed a hazardous occupation. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, let's go this way. <clears throat> He's in Maine, right? I don't know where he is. I don't know. Elder way. <laughs> Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What, am I crazy? Hmm. Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. Okay. It'd be really nice to have a car right now, wouldn't it? I still had to reach Barry at the cab, but at least I was out of the woods. Was that... was that a pun? Alan Wake, did you just make a pun? I think he just made a pun. I don't know how to feel about that. I'd have to get the car from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster. And the headlights were a welcome place. Worth a shot. Oh, manuscript page here. Ooh. Yay! More! The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it. 
but it felt all wrong. Cold instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Okay, interesting. Very dark in here. I can't see shit in here, dude. Imagine if they put path tracing in this game with the lighting mechanics. It would look sublime. I had to find the key to the garage. There we go. That was easy. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. You can horrify nature and yourself. Interesting. Honestly, I'll just be happy to stop walking everywhere. It's been a long ass trip. Oh. Wait, I'm driving? Oh shit. Okay, here we go. This is how you drive, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of bad guys. Oh, that's not good. The lights are out here. I wonder if the lights are going to be out over there as well. Can I get out? Oh! Oh, hang on. I wonder if there's loot over here. Oh, I've already been here. Yeah, I've already been here, right? I mean, there is loot, but... Yeah, that's the ranger with the dog. That's where he was. Dang it. I don't think we can get around it, guys. I think I have to get out. I did try. I did try. I tried my best to cheese it, but there is no cheese. God damn it. I didn't want to leave the car behind. I like that car. Please climb over the fence. No oh, cheese on the ham. Invisible walls, yes. 
the shagging hell was that? The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Yeah, no kidding. That's, I figured that out like five years ago. Where were you, Alan? Where are you? <laughs> hey, what's up, Baked? How you doing? sure nothing's changed here but it doesn't look like it has so that was close Kidnapper. Oh, no. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, Wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. It's not done? I need a week. Two days! The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. I hope I'm never popular enough for people to steal my wife in order to get an early access copy to my book. I don't think anyone is that popular in real life. Talked about birds over the phone. Except maybe George R. R. Martin. Maybe George R. R. Martin. <laughs> Just maybe. Got in here before I block the chimney. This isn't normal. These birds are weird. Uh oh. Ow, make them go away, please. to something, guys. Isn't that a miracle? Hey, buddy. Hey, Al. I'm... I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. It's fine. Oh. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. 
The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Can you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there Why in less than an hour. So See you soon. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Old Deer Diner. Yeah, Good that's what I thought. Leopard geckos eat their skin. I totally forgot today was her shedding day. Um, I just it clicked when I saw how brightly colored she was. But yes, leopard geckos eat their shed skin to reabsorb the nutrients, which is why she's not hungry. So I, I was wondering why, because she looked really swollen compared to yesterday. Like her stomach was really swollen. So I was wondering if it was eggs or anything. So I was gently stroking it to see if there was any, uh, basically you, you can feel a lump or if, it, if she's impacted as well, sometimes that can help them poop. Uh, but there was nothing there, and she did not like being held like that, so... I need to give her a couple of days to calm down. Right, anyway, sorry about that. You were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's... anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. Hi, Randolph. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Oh, God damn well, it. I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy! Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, yeah. you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway yeah, no, thank you for the five pound. Appreciate it. I'm the god-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold... You paying stuff. for the next chapter, is that what you're saying? Yeah. okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, there was an island there Thank you very much. a guy called Thomas Zink. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving. So much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Right. Okay, interesting. It just occurred to me I didn't check Mika for stuck shed. Uh, I'll do that on the next break when she's calmed down a little bit. I feel kind of bad for traumatizing her. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Should rub it off? Normally they do, Darcy, but she's an enigma. Remember, so sometimes she has comes for you in the she dark. hasn't had any issues so far, but there's anyway, always the chance that she might. I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. So you just I check their toes and, and the tip of their tail and their snoot. You met. Those are the what, places the where they have the most lady? trouble. She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. I know Wills. I'll I'll just I'll just pause it next time. <laughs> I didn't realize that the, the break was so short. Can you hurry up, Randolph? Jesus Christ. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. <laughs> Oh, that's not creepy at all. Welcome 
to... to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. Ooh. Well, they just hey, got drugged. This is really good. Rose, Rose just drugged them. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al? Yep. Al, what's... Oh. Called Barry. it. What? Called it. What? No, she's been being possessed by the darkness, Darcy. We saw that last episode. Or last chapter. I'm glad they resisted the arch to an upskirt here. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. <gasps> Back to work, boy. Ah! <sighs> 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 I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. Rose took a day from me. me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the but kidnapper. I All I could do was get Barry me. into the car, She's work something out once I got on the road. I call her Barbara Jacker. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it. But I know she's right. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go check on Mika again. <laughs> I want to make sure.
Yeah. She did good. She she's completely shed. <clears throat> no stuck shed on toes, no stuck shed on tail. Her, her uh, Chloe is free and her news is free. She was still a little bit startled, but not anywhere near as much as she was. She promises earlier. me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. So Alan Wake lost a week, and over the course of that week, from what I can tell, he wrote this book. But he never finished the book, and the darkness is getting frustrated because of that. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. You okay? All right. I deserve more money. I'm so handsome. <laughs> Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. Okay. Interesting. I feel bad for her. Where's her toilet? It's just occurred to me that this place doesn't have a bathroom. Where does she shower and shit? Uh... The darkness doesn't pee. I am the dark. I don't pee. <laughs> what a bizarre thing to omit. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Uh, that Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Oh, interesting. Which means that the uh, FBI agent... FBI, open up! is on his way. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, Pat, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I ain't the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I've just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Something like that, Walt. Uh huh. Well, you know, he's, uh, you know, Daddy's my best friend, and, uh, they let me, um, bail today. This and is the drunk the guy from the prison that we turned the light on for. Man, and there's something in the air tonight, man. Uh, I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I, I don't know. I, you know, something's gonna happen. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I, I think I better go. Well, Walt, uh, maybe... No, that, thanks, Pat. Huh. <sighs> well, good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? How can I be sure? What a trippy game. This game's great, by the way. I'm, I am genuinely enthralled by this game, which isn't something I can often say. There's games that make you think, and then there's games that turn your brain off, and this game's definitely one of the ones where you have to pay attention. And 
give it some thought. Right. Sorry, so good. It is really, really good. I really, really, really good. So what am I looking? There's a dude over there. Hey, hey! Can you help me carry a guy? Oh, you're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slane. What the shit? What are you? I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac. Why are you running? I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Okay. Why are you running? It was on the manuscript, Darcy. I run away. Because I, the, the, there's a look in that guy's eye that just implies that he wants to shoot us. So we start running for our lives. You are just... You just were not the... No, I was the target. I was the target. They were targeting me. Look. Uh, manuscripts. Episode 2. Uh, the logging site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed. Nope, wrong one. Here we go. Agent Nightingale didn't want to be in Bright Falls. Nope, wrong one. God damn it! Here we go. The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. Call it instinct. His posture. The way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Shit. Damn. Jesus Christ. There's a lot going on here. Oh, that's a good point. Hang on. Forgot to check how the video was doing. Um, 2 out of 10. Nice. Still got a copyright strike, though. I'm, I'm contesting that, by the way, for anyone who's curious. UMG thinks they own white noise. <laughs> Greedy corporate bastards. God. Come on, guys. We need to head him off. Okay. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the rider on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Interesting. Holy shit! Hell no. Uh-uh. Over. I'm a federal agent pursuing a fugitive. You want to discuss my 
Flight Master Sheriff, make an appointment. Over. You stay right where you are, Agent Nightingale. I'm on my way. Out. Jesus Christ. All units are advised that the suspect may be armed. Approach with caution. James out. So control is related to Alan Wake. I never did finish control. OOPs, object of power, a flying TV. So does that mean that Alan Wake himself is an OOP? Or is this, air well, OOP is object of power. But is Alan Wake like the source of this? Or is this area the source of this? Controllers between this and Alan Wake 2. Okay. It's the area. Alright. I don't remember Control at all. Control was the red-haired young lady who became the new director of Control, which is something that deals with paranormal entities. This horror entities. was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Really good. Really good. You hear our words, but you forget. We circle into circle of the black. Wake from the chains. Nothing remains. Name of the sound of the name. Thank God they go away. Oh. I should have kept my goddamn mouth shut. <sighs> this just escalated. I wonder if there's the, they've put like an Easter egg in here. This would be the perfect place to put an Easter egg where if you zoom in on something completely arbitrary in the distance, something shows up, right? Oh. Oh, there's a thermos over there. Not quite an Easter egg, but you know, maybe the moon? Is it Majora's Mask Moon? No? I'm upset now. <laughs> Altered World Event. That's what it was called, the Altered World Event. I'm really excited for Alan Wake, too. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The uh, Fed's going to want to interview Wheeler over. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. Mulligan out. Goddamn. How many people play this game but skip over all these little things? It seems like a crying waste, right? I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. So damn many. Would you guys prefer if I skipped over this stuff? Is it boring to you? Or do you like the fact that I'm taking the time to actually listen to all these things? Hmm. 
medium was really good. The medium was fantastic. The medium was such a good game. Skip it to make all people rage. All right, Enverath told me to skip it, so I have to skip it. Sorry, guys. I imagine I'm that the broadcast tower. I'm interested in enough in them to the not skip them. So. Main seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Perhaps he could. Oh shit. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. There was no power to the searchlight. Voices, voices deep within me. They tease me. Why can't I break free? Voices all around me whisper to me. Someone make them go away. Such a good song. Voices all around me whisper to me. Someone make them go away. Something in my own way. Don't look back on all this pain and sorrow. Something. You have a good voice? I really don't. I'm just singing very quietly. So Voices in my heart. It took me a moment on. to recognize the flashbang things. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Team one, come in. Over. Here's the pain, but it remains. It seems like these guys were equipped to deal with this situation. I think these guys are an early version of like the SCP Foundation. And they misidentified me as the cause. <laughs> Obviously, it's not the SCP Foundation, it's Control or whatever they were called. But it's still interesting. But it remains. I'm lost on where to start. These voices in my soul know that I'm not in control. Let me go. Nova, I refuse to support Netflix in any way. Oh, well. The deputies up here out to have turned into Zambonis. Close. Ah, right before I reached it as well. And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. It's Milk Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Milk? Well, I live Milt near the trailer Peabody. park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? <gasps> yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door and they're popping off guns there. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. All right. Okay, thanks. I guess we'll have to keep an eye out for the next radio so we can find out what they're going to claim is going on. Hot goes the weasel. Touched by the dark presence, Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. 
She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was screaming in terror. I would be too. I definitely would be too. If I was being controlled by an evil old woman with darkness powers. Although from the sounds of it, the evil old woman is being controlled herself by the darkness. So, you know. Tati Tet. Tati Tet? Tati Tet? Is that what it is? Or Tati Tat? I can't remember. Weird, I figured there'd be loot here. Nope, just death. Blast them. Oh, there's a cash in here. Oh, <gasps> yay! God damn it. There we go. Tatty tats. There we go. Flare gun, nice! We actually have a gun to defend ourselves now. And flares. Okay. I'm gonna keep the flashbangs equipped. Damn it, Alan, you really need to do some cardio, buddy. Okay, I'm trying to save as many of these flashbangs as I can. It seems like they'll be really helpful. At least I'm going to go through here without killing that guy. Nice. Woo! I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Lorna is such a lovely lady. Hey. Oh, here's a little surprise. The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in. Oh, God. Please don't tell everyone. Welcome into an interview. Hey. Come on in. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt. Who the hell what, is what, Dan what, Brown? Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. Judas Priest. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. Who's Dan Brown? 
Why does he keep making up different names for the author? Writer of the Da Vinci Code? I've never read the Da Vinci Code. I think it's a movie as well. Why does he keep naming different authors? I've so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. I'm so confused! It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. I'm so confused. Why does he keep calling me the names of different authors? Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks oh, maybe it's an insult. And humiliation. Yeah, I never read the Da Vinci Code or watched the Da Vinci Code uh, movies. Is in my soul, then I'm not in control. Let me go, let go. That's trippy. I missed all three of those. <clears throat> uh, Darcy, are you going to be sticking around tonight, by the way? I remember you said you had to take meds and bunk off early. I don't want to keep you, obviously. And it will be available on YouTube on uh, in two days. I am here. I know you're here now. Will you be here all night? Is what I'm asking. <laughs> hey, Darcy, will you be here all night? I am here. <laughs> I am robot. <laughs> it's only 1.30 p.m. here. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that time zone works out well for you. You know, what time is it normally when I start streaming for you? Oh, I guess it would probably be about midday for you when I start streaming, huh? Oh, by the way, good news, guys. Uh, I looked up stuff on the place I want to move to, and it also has gigabit internet! So I will be able to continue uploading as normal. It's going to be great. Can't wait. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> Obviously, it might be a year or two before I move there, but... Wait, when are you moving? When I have enough money, Darcy. The second I have enough money to move, I'm gone. Like... Danny there's no hesitation. Out, but what stumbled back in was something else. Something alien. A monster. Walter tried to kill it. First with his fists, then a chair. It wouldn't die. Instead, it kept coming. Unaffected by the beating it had taken. After Walter managed to kick it down the cellar stairs, fear took over. He ran. You made it sound like you have a place? He, I, the I, I, there are a few beautiful places that I was looking at, Darcy, but I don't have try. the money. <laughs> I don't have the money. <laughs> if I did, I would have... There's, there's a few places where I'm wanting to go that just look staggeringly beautiful. Um, so all I can do is hope that there are equally pretty places when I do move. Um, was this just that? Did I go the wrong? I guess I went the wrong way. There's lights down there. 
Find a house with private island. If only we can move now, not in five years. Yeah. Yeah, it, God, could you imagine if I'm still trying to move house in five years? I would hate that. <clears throat> Doing like a decent number of folks watching today. Uh, th I put a shout out at the end of the uh, sleep experiment video, Ava. And at the beginning of the sleep experiment video. Hey, if you guys came here from the sleep experiment video, by the way, uh, say hello. Good to see you. Hope you guys, or even if you didn't come here from the sleep experiment video and you just randomly stumbled across this channel, you say hello as well. I got a lot of regulars in the chat right now, but I like, I like meeting new people. Lesser evil, you don't count. <laughs> You've been here for ages. Mm -hmm. To be honest, Baron is probably the only reason I would move. Uh, I have gigabit where I am and gigabit where I'm going. Which is good. I've only been here a week, and yet it feels like you've been here for years, Nova. At least three months. <laughs> Are you by happenstance on Twitch? Oh, that's cool. I only have three billows left. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Hmm. Maybe they have. How strange. Shotgun. Right, right, Raggy. First combat death. Wow, we just got annihilated. Here we are. In light, you can hurt them. I already figured that out, but thank you. You leave me any loot here? No? Oh, you did! Look at that! <clears throat> oh, I think these are on a timer. Interesting. There's definitely a... There's a note up there. There's something that way, but there's a note up here. I, I think I will take tomorrow off because of how tired I'm going to be after this stream. Um, but. Big butts. Cannot lie. The bulldozer's engine roared to life. Mud and rocks flew as it fought for traction. It crashed the concrete wall and landed heavily in the yard. If it were an animal, it would have shaken its head after the impact, fixed its eyes on me, and charged. Of course, it had no head, nor eyes. Shadows crawled on its form, twisting it into a monster. Then, it came for me. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I think I'll take tomorrow off just to relax after this stream. We'll see how I feel. I mean, it, we're, we're almost four hours in and I'm a little bit tired. 
I wanted to buy some energy juice for this stream, but the shopping order never arrived and they refunded me. And then I never had time to get more. <clears throat> so we are running off of pure adrenaline. Which is arguably more healthy. Oh, and also the caffeine from Coke Zero, which is less healthy. But you know what? You win some, lose some. How well am I doing for... Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this... Nice time to give to Where was his wife? Appreciate it. And most importantly... Why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer. I assume you have a store nearby? Federal it's 10 p.m. Say. <clears throat> can you order some while you, you play? It's 10 p.m. Why can't you order some? It's 10 p.m. What time is it? It's 10 p.m. Why can't you 10 p.m.? It's 10 p.m. Hello? The most stubborn man so it's supposed to tap in there? Store's Alice. closed at 6 Alice? p.m. here. Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. Keeps me in oh, there the are 24 hour stores, Darcy. Not ones I, I can get you. to deliver. Alan, and it's not you. Something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Hmm. <gasps> yeah, that's not good. Um... Do -do -do. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Interesting. <clears> Three. <throat> Interestamon. I want to see what's up here. I'm trying very hard to go down the side paths before I go down the main paths. And so far, I've been fairly successful at that. Which is nice. Uh -huh. oh. Why do I hear breathing every time I come by one of these places? It's really disconcerting. Unto me, my adolescent dream. Boy. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Hate to say it, Alan, but I think you're about to fight a pipe wrench. I'm pretty sure shotguns beat pipe wrenches, right? <laughs> Chat, shotgun versus pipe wrench. What wins? for everything in its path. Yeah, no kidding. Holy Jesus. Oh God. Okay, yeah, screw that. I knew these flashbangs would be useful. 
The reason why I didn't use them. Jesus. Oh. How far can you feel a shotgun? I slammed right the far. door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Okay. Interesting. As a teenager, just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. Heavy duty and flashlight. it was getting closer. What's the difference between a flashlight and a heavy duty flashlight? Oh, it has more battery. Oh! Oh, that's nice. Does that mean this is a boss fight? God damn it. That's not a good noise. That's a determinably, determinably bad noise. Man. Hey, anyone know how to English? Can I, can I take lessons? A big boy flashlight later, and that's glorious. Was that a spoiler? It wasn't a major spoiler, don't worry about it. <clears throat> it wasn't like a story spoiler, it was just like a, hey, you got this later. I bloody wish I did. Oh. Ah! And I cannot dodge these guys if my life depends on it. And generally speaking, my life does. The big guys just are undodgeable. They did this game really well. I, I... Query, query. I'm sorry I didn't play this game before now. I won't, I won't judge your, que your questionable tastes in games anymore. Radio's not working. Damn. I really wanted to get an update on that. Oh, oh, hey! Our existence for granted, unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self-delusion, covering a vast cosmos of madness and horror. All too often, the stars are right in night springs. Tonight's episode: a family occasion. Journalist Alvin Durless' trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful. Until tonight. Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Durless, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are a man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Could I really? Of course, Mr. Durlis. Well, I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, um, uh, I... <laughs> Nick 
Siperka, the dweller in flesh. Your body shall host a thousand young, and all shall be glory. <laughs> Shut up. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force <laughs> of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and chased me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Breathing from the darkness, though the walls around us fade, we can hold back on the monster. Oh, I forgot about that. Sorry, Inferno. That sucks. How's he alive? He just got hit by the trap. I only got clipped by the wheels. That wouldn't kill me. Creepy. I'm the pain. Uh, uh, uh. This looks suspicious. It's not suspicious. God damn it. Oh well. We're doing quite well on resources. I expected to be quite resource starved, but honestly, we've only run out of ammo once, and that's because I was shooting at a dude for three magazines uh, while he was immortal standing on top of a building. Uh, wanna see the stars one last time? Come home, take me outside. Do I get to drive again? No! Let me drive, damn it! I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. Like someone hit me with a baseball bat. Wasn't if it persists in Farno, you should probably go get it seen by a doctor because it could be a blood clot. Check for bruising. If there's no bruising, then it's something internal. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. Or dislocated. A drowning dislocated. man will clutch at a straw. Hi there. This game's beautiful, dude. This game's absolutely gorgeous. I haven't had enough of your kind of driving. My driving. There's only one word that could encapsulate the experience of my driving. And that word is sublime. My driving is sublime. Simply sublime. <laughs> horrific, masterful, horrific, chaotic. You got, you know, I'm gonna do an episode of The Long Drive to prove to you all how good I am at driving. 
Just you wait. Just you wait. You're all going to be like, oh my god, Icy's so good at driving. Where's your license then? I have a provisional driver's license in my wallet. Driving real life is not the same as games? I, I beg to differ, Darcy. Would you look at that? <laughs> oh, hang on a minute, what's up here? So you're driving on ice road sim? I was great in that game. <clears throat> Considering I was driving a truck with 10 tons of fuel. I said I was doing really well. I got we're just stealing cars, by the way. Driving them for 100 meters and then leaving them. We can do the same here. <laughs> there we go. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see... I encountered a big shot G-man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. <laughs> now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now. Because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say... I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're not the Aww. best. Godspeed, son. Aww. What you doing? Now, Aww. on a lighter note, Thanks. I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Aww. What a good guy, dude. What, what a, what a, what a, what a golly goshin good, good fella. What is happening to my map? That's weird. Or I guess radar is not really a map, is it? <laughs> what happens if I drive off a cliff? Do I want to find out? Do I really want to find out? Uh, I'm going to resist it. I'll resist the urge. I'll resist the urge. What do you think happens? Uh, someone flies down from heaven. Gives me a blowjob and a cupcake. In that order. What are your thoughts on mayonnaise? Not a big fan. I'm far more... Uh, I, I enjoy salad cream more than mayonnaise. Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange because I always pegged you as a... Sound cream like Miracle Whip? I have no idea. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's kind of cool for it. And you need to do a lot of Just looking for sure. But the idea that... Cupcakes were ruined for me by EDP445. I can't eat cupcakes or... anymore without thinking of that motherfucker. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or heck, childish even? Hey, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything. But what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. Eh? How is that harsh? Google it. Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but... Let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I what I felt for someone, because she was the one. She was. And she... I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work. I don't know. But, well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone. 
not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I'm not living in the past. But I do miss the way she completed me. Mm. You can't argue with the heart bat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night. And let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. Ah. Uh. Yeah. yeah, it would have been really good for me if I actually had some private land to drive around on and get used to it. <clears throat> Having to learn to drive on public roads is oddly terrifying. <laughs> Alright, let's swap cars. I want this car now. I do like myself a chocolate brownie muffin. Those are great. Uh, it was a nightmare, Ava. It was a nightmare. I can say that with sincerity. I was, I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. <laughs> with Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Can I see his muffin? <laughs> yeah, I still need to try and learn an automatic car. Um... But, I mean, I don't have the money to learn to drive right now. Lord knows everything's so fucking expensive these days. I know Darcy, but I need to go through I the lessons before outside. I do the test. Cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Really? Oh, that son of a biscuit. Wake! Where the hell are you? Change of plans! You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Okay. Hello? No worries, oh, Kolani. Ah, I'm gonna kill him. <clears throat> You're only I four hours late. Your peak. There's still another six hours or so of this game, from what people are telling me. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Close. Maybe closer than ever before. Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger. It happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Uh, Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Barbara Everything Jagger is the woman in the, the in puzzle. the funeral he hadn't cowl. Even known he'd been missing, and best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. This was bef so. Thomas Zane is the light. And Barbara Jagger is the woman with the darkness inside her right now. From what I can tell.
Nice. Chance. Oh, the darkness is getting pissy. Hey, PC. <clears throat> Itty bitty PC. ADP-445 is a, uh, a not a very nice man who was trying to do not very nice things to young people. And when he was caught, he claimed he was just, he wasn't out there to visit the young people. He was out there to get cupcakes. And I believe he's been caught three times now trying to meet up with underage girls. What the hell? Oh, shit. Shit. The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Chris Hansen has entered the chat. Chris Hansen is too busy chasing after Onision, unfortunately. Cool. Give these guys a minute. Got them all. I overshot by a little bit. So close. So close. Brr. I'm surviving this. I'm going to be honest. This is absolutely insane. When the darkness finds out that humans aren't strong enough, it brings the trains. Uh, oh. Okay, interesting. Trying to save my flashbangs. Ah. 
Oh, shit. Okay. Up the ladder we go. Will do. This game is getting spooky. Uh, wait, touched by dark Souls presence. Souls taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Okay. Interesting. So I was along the right lines in my first hypothesis where I said that this was an eldritch entity that fed off of the imagination of writers to make itself stronger. There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. No, but it's definitely standard. Oh my god, I'm getting into a boss fight soon equipment. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. feeling this is another area where they're just going to keep coming, so I'll do my best to go around them. Save my ammo. Uh, wait, Baron is I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. Where's Raymond it's Chandler? All, all the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. Who the hell is Raymond Chandler? What did he write? I feel like this is the path I was meant to go. Unless that's the lookout up there. I'm going to quickly do a sweep and see if we can find more manuscripts because this story is really interesting. Really, really intriguing. He did detective fiction. Ah, interesting. Please pick it up. Trust no one in the dark. Weirdly enough, it's very dark in here. Shouldn't have trusted them. Big sleep. Interesting. 
an interesting title for a book, isn't it? Big Sleep. I have I a big sleep most nights. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Pump action shotgun. Yes, please. Pretty please. Why do I feel like I'm going into a massive boss fight here? Big sleep equals what my body demands. Darcy, you can go sleep. As awesome as this game is, it's not worth you losing sleep over it. It'll always be available another time. Another place. I just had to swap the shotgun gun for the final blow. The gun Jesse has in control is also King Arthur's Excalibur. That is a fun fact. It's a very fun fact. The dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? I'm pretty sure... It can travel faster than you, so if it was going for Alice, it would already have Alice. I'm really hoping the teleport guy would have shown up for that. very fun fact. Wielding Excalibur. The idea that Excalibur would the be an OOP dead. as well. A ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. So it would make sense, wouldn't it? Okay. Okay. Calm down. Jesus Christ. Stop having a temper tantrum. The darkness is a sore loser, dude. Hmm. Thermos. Batteries, which I really need to use more batteries. That is no longer a fridge. Uh oh. Okay, I'll give you that one. I should not have survived a tractor being thrown at me. I will give you that one. The, surviving a tractor being thrown at me is slight BS. 
Just a little bit of BS. Just a teeny tiny little bit of BS. Slight. Yeah, just slight. Just a little bit. Just an eeny teeny tiny little itty bitty 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 bitty. to me. Oh. oh, it was locked. It didn't lie to me. Hey, remember when I said I wanted to use more of my flashlight? Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I ended up using a hell of a lot there, huh? Ammo. Batteries. The TV did a weird thing there, but didn't turn on. Hopefully I didn't miss something important. Oh. How much ammo do I have for the... Ooh. Yeah, I reckon. I reckon that's a good swap. I to see the stars one last time. I'm hearing that breathing again. The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Mate, do you have any idea how much shit I've fought through? Jesus Christ. I was like, eh, hurry up, and I'm out here like, oh my god, I'm gonna die! I had a tractor thrown at my freaking face, dude. A tractor. It wasn't very attractive. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. What about this one? Eh. Birds. I could have gone slightly better. Birds. <laughs> Get fucked, birds! This isn't spooky at all. Tunnels go to Cauldron Lake. What's this way? Without warning, 
the headache stabbed at my brain. Am I going the wrong way? I want to go the side passage first. To see if there's any manuscripts. Oh, that's the right way. I want to go the other way. <clears throat> Somebody's taking the road to Headache Time Junction. Do, 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 do. Somebody is so gone. Uh, Alice? Alice? Help me! Help me! Alice? Oh, that's a hell of a scream. <laughs> Jesus Alice, Christ. I gotta get out of here. There's a hell of a stream. The hunters were big, thick set men, confident and at home in the woods. They were feeling good, running on beer, ghost stories, and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. That is a hell of a scream. of these manuscripts have I gotten? Episode 1. Okay, so I missed 3. Episode 2. I missed 3. <laughs> well, that's... It's a good sign that I might miss 3 for episode 3, chat. Who knows? Who the heckers knows? I'm gonna open this door for a while and get some fresh air in here. How many chapters are there in this game? Our right, episodes. Even behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel, Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. Sex and original. You do okay. what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottom of his head. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. Under Alan Wake's spell. So I cast a spell with the help of... Well, that sucks. That's the wrong one. God damn it. Did not mean to use a flashbang. I want to use a flare. Trying to close off the path behind me, but I swapped too fast and got the flashbang instead of the flare. Nothing up there. <laughs> I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Maybe it can. Then again, maybe it can't. Let's find out. Ah, eh, looks like it can.
Interesting. Ah! Ah! Look at that. Clever. Clever, clever, clever. There we go. Smelling coffee on a white sweater sounds like a terrible time. Dude, Alan Wake's foot is made of titanium. I shouldn't be shooting these enemies. I should be kicking them. Uh, let's go down first. Ooh. Let's not get stuck first. That's the way I'm meant to be going. God damn it. Let's go up first. <laughs> uh, ravioli, I wouldn't say that's the best puzzle in the world. It was just pushing buttons and making a thing spin. It, it That, more than anything else, is what, what I would commonly refer to as a time-wasting puzzle. It's designed to make you play the game longer and make it feel like there's more substance to the game when there's not actually anything going on. So better than... Uh, Lord of the Rings Gollum, though. Here we are. Uh, Lightning flashed behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Mulnair, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. Jesus Christ, okay. Dude just straight up murdered a nurse. <sighs> All right, here we go. Yep, this one's obviously going to go so much better than the last one did. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Where are the crows? Where's the shadow-possessed helicopter? It's obviously going to come after me. Just keep spamming players. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really, really bad. That was 
a better landing than my last one. Yeah. I take. I take that away from me. But maybe that was hiding in manuscript. Shit. Jesus Christ! Where did that come from? This darkness thing's getting really strong. Worryingly strong. Considering it can drop a train on my head from five kilometers away. Still have no idea why there's random piles of cans everywhere, but I'm gonna shoot them. It's raining sky trains. Exactly. Exactly. Ice cream truck. It wasn't an ice cream truck. It was a freaking train. It wasn't even an ice cream train. It was just a normal train. No worries, Ray Cray. Have yourself a lovely rest. Thank you so much for popping by, and I hope you have a good day tomorrow. Um, the VOD won't be available tomorrow. The VOD will be available the day after tomorrow, potentially. I still haven't decided if I'm going to put this up on YouTube or not. Uh, on the main channel. I might do the main channel, though. It'd be good fun. <clears throat> Not too much is going on on it. The only problem with putting up on the main channel is, if I remember rightly, this game has a million copyright issues. Yes, it did, Darcy. Dodged right into him. All right. Yeah, so I'll just put it up on the second channel then and advertise on the main channel. Who knows? Maybe the second channel will get enough views and hours watched to uh, be monetized. Kind of sweet, wouldn't it? I wouldn't get very much money from it, but it'd be something. Uh. Maud had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn, but there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated. Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. Who's the boss? For that matter, who the hell is Mott? <laughs> Darcy, the way I was planning on doing it until I realized it'd be a pain in the ass is, um... Uh... Oh, uh, having, having chat off on YouTube and just having that be the the VOD. But it didn't work. <laughs> Too much stress on the old PC. And not enough, uh... Jesus Christ. Just not enough flexibility for me. Tom, Tom, I miss you, Tom. Did you write this? Tom, 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 Tom. I curse you, Thomas Zane. Tom, 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 Tom. I miss you, Tom, 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 Tom. I miss you, Tom, Tom. Okay.
Wonderful. Down. Ah, really? God damn, dude's a ninja. Freaking marksman without throwing axe. How you doing, by the way? You know, you know what? Chat, chat. How is I everyone doing Lake. today? I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Or maybe the cabin's back. <gasps> Wouldn't that be spooky? I was close now. I had to get there fast. I'm having some off work I today. What I would or tomorrow? Find. Absolutely lovely here. Hello, Elixir of Immortality. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a lovely day. I tried to hold on to Alice. It's fine. Glad to hear it. form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. Glad to hear it, Satara. Pay hey, attention to the road, though. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. Glad to hear it, Regrub. Go get some sleep. Episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. Well, that's dark. Maybe I was right with it. Maybe not necessarily at all being a coma. Wait. Hey, I'm here. I'm coming. But... Definitely, like, regarding it being a psychotic break. Sounds good, Elixir. <laughs> yes, you should, Inferno. Telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. The truth. I am back, Darcy. <sighs> It was just a nightmare. Alice. Thank you very much for the five pound, Ava. Where are you going, Alan? Hartman. I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... You lie. You're suffering from various Bastard. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Alan. Just, Just let, let go. 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 Hartman had bumped in me and was making me numb. 
I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching here? on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. There were only empty sheets of paper here. Yeah. No manuscript pages. Why? The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. Why is that here? Hello. Hi. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. <laughs> now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Damn it. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones Those who are particularly vulnerable, of course. Cherry pop flavored condom and lemon lime flavored condom. Why do flavored condoms exist? I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery it's not like you have process taste buds. here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Yeah. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control. Your safety matters. Look this way. Alan. That's why regular condoms exist. Why do flavored condoms exist? It's unbearable. The mystery. <laughs> It has a freaking elevator. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice uh -huh. drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Jesus. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the- Is there a walk button in this goddamn game? Sure. Sane supernatural conspiracy go. you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. <laughs> Everything can be explained logically. In tenebras, Kadir. In tenebras, Kadir. In light, no. Got the shadow we saw for this miracle eliminated in the memory of a dear friend and poet. In tenebras, Kadir. I don't know that. That's a Latin I've never heard before. Ah, I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Uh oh It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Ava. 
You don't need to donate anymore, by the way. I, I really do appreciate it, but I don't want you to be spending all your money. Now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. No, it's not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think hurt. of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. After all, Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, I dug my nails into the palms myself. of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Yeah. Save your money, Ava. Come along. Look after your Let's cat. Go you really shouldn't be donating to me when your cat needs... <laughs> you know. Uh, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors. Man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Uh... Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Emerson. I thought they were on a fishing trip. Did he lie? <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ew. <laughs> That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video games. Ooh, yeah. It's ah, trash, yeah. of course, yeah. but it does I'll involve some small yeah. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. This guy was... Here. Oh, hello. I've painted you. Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Uh-huh. Well, I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. Me too, buddy. Me too. Some... Some... Some stuff right there. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Hey! My rheumatism is killing me! There's a storm coming! Oh! What a storm! I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a, how should I put this, a heavy There's the hammer, the Mjolnir, making a comeback. He's going to hit someone over the head with it. Of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. No, oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Why is everyone obsessed with me writing? I'd 
like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy's a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Zane! You're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him. He's don't calling us grow. Tom again. He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head was clearing. Oops. Sorry. Or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Okay. How many did we miss last? One, two, three, four, five, six. No! Damn it. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with It's words. amazing, Winter Onion. Genuinely a phenomenal game. Tom, you got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> we Sorry, have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Make sure. Oh, the ones with the little icons are only in nightmare mode. So I've only missed six notes so far. Right. That's not bad. Moonbeams on the brain. Oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. Tom just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was, what were they? Hugin and Minin. And thought, the hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Oh, um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, hard go. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. She's been using you, boy. And you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And who's fault is- <gasps> They're the rock and roll guys. Who woke the darkness up. The poet, Thomas, put the darkness to sleep. These two are the ones who woke it up, and we're the one who brought it to the fore. We're again. morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, uh, Interesting. So tired. Built the farm close to the lake. A place of power. We had parties there, man. You, you should go there and have a party. Is the source of the darkness that under- Bob Balder threw the amp through the window. <laughs> Hit that a hippie chick in the back of the head. Fifteen stitches and a concussion. Bob's dead now. Leukemia. Jesus Christ. Stitches, snitches, and narcs, man. <laughs> Bad scene. Yeah. Bad scene indeed. I'm tired, man. So tired. 
How much do they have to say? Is that it? Are they out? Okay. I... I, uh... I want to go home. Oh, still not done. We done now? You too good? Okay. Ask the lamp lady. Hey. Gotcha. The docs got me looking after Wake here, but holler if they get too rowdy. I'll do that, Birch. Okay, they're gonna hit her on the head with a hammer and say that they, the uprising has begun. But it's gonna be the hey, wake, wake hammer. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? The typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think. There's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Shit. Benbean! Third month. Darcy's not here right now. She's out giving a... a oh, whoa. Um. The beginning. A primordial forest. The colors of the fall. The mist. A caldera lake. Silence echoes. Hartman wanted me to write. Loud. I knew I couldn't. Hang but on. I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. Okay, sorry. Back to this. Late to hear the words. The man, naked, crawls to the shore like a birth. To say that would be a lie. Nothing like a birth. The opposite. He staggers to his feet. A carcass of a deer lies on the shore, rotting amidst driftwood. The man is afraid, beside himself. Who is he? He doesn't himself know. Dark waves have washed it away. A blank page where this horror story will be written. He remembers darkness. Feels the shadow pressing down on him. Coming after him. He must get away. He runs to the forest. To a fate worse than death. Jesus Christ. Okay. Keep an eye out for more of those. Apparently, there's a bunch of videos uh, unlisted. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Maybe it is. Hmm. Right. Wake. Here we go. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Everybody calm down. Put that down. Bert, I need help. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Okay. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Oh, he got real hammer? They actually killed her? Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. 
The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office wing from Sinclair. Holy shit! The backstage is all yours, Tom! Seize your destiny! They killed her! I had to her. get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. The music, Birch. It's time to pay the piper. Was that page on top of the stairs? Yes, it was. Well spiced. Thank you. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice. I am watching all the TV mind. shows, Darcy. Hey, Hartman. Where's Al? Hartman I'm doing everything in, in the game. Avoided the interruption. Like, he nodded we've, the every note we've found, family. we've read. The man smiled all the conversations we've listened to, all the TV back. shows we've watched, all the radio stations we've listened to. I am doing my best to do everything in the game because it's just that good. It's so good that I want to do all this. Hell yeah, RTS. We are five hours in. Oh my god, we're five the hours in. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made of the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. These are all the pictures that the guy's been drawing. I wish I was that good at art. Art, dude. Now, Mrs. Wake, what can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs> he's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I... Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me, because at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no. He just... Alan doesn't really sleep. And the work, well, he's not writing. At all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. And I can't talk to him. Yes. Tell me, Mrs. Wake. What would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I look at you, and it's not you. Just some stranger who resembles you. Looking out from behind your eyes. And I don't like that guy much. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No. No. I've tried, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems. Always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him. And we're not even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. He just keeps me in the dark. I'm so alone here, even when he's home. Please help me, doctor, because I'm at my wit's end. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. Jesus. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. Yeah. Yeah. Never recognized that. Hartman wasn't happy. Maud could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. I mean, Mott's dead now. He got torn apart by the darkness. Let me out of here! Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to Barry? Ow! About time! Hey. Barry! Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me at Rose's trailer. Oh, God damn it! I didn't realize I would skip his dialogue. Sorry. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the- Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Where did he get a gun? 
Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Harvey, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just. Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and my. Oh, that's not good. that in the memoirs as well. The dark presence would be on me in the moment. I had to find a way out. Shit. Um. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Open the bloody door! There we go. Sorry, that was weirdly buggy. Bookshelves out of my way. I know exactly where to get some light. Turned off? Oh no, 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 we're good. Um. Uh. Uh. Rip? Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for a moment there, I'd made a terrible mistake. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Most of us have felt shadow on us. The shadow oh, I can barely hear this. Hang on. find it on purpose, but take a wrong turn, or the wrong bus, wonder where you are when you wake up. Hang on, still can't hear it. And you will find yourself in the small town of Night Springs. Tonight's episode, The Doomed Samaritan. Sometimes, even the simplest things prove impossible. Consider, you get in a car and leave a life behind. Easy? Not tonight. Thanks for the ride, Mark. I'm Look so glad to be here. Look at the ten gift bomb, Pleasant Eyes. You have no idea. 
That's very what, kind nice of you. Thank race. you very much. Come on, Linda. Relax. It's not that Save bad. your goddamn money. Thank hey, you. What's that up ahead? Oh, God. There's someone in the road. I think there's been an accident. <clears throat> Save your goddamn money. Are you all right? Oh, no, Linda. Oh, no. It was me on the road. I... Wait. Tell him to watch out for the truck. Never watch save your goddamn money. My, my demand it, Mark. Ah! I demand you save your money. Oh, God. no, please, God, no, Linda, Linda. Thanks for the ride, Mark. I'm so glad to be leaving this place. What, Night Springs? Come on, Linda, relax. It's not that bad. Hey. What's that up ahead? Oh, God. There's someone in the road. I think there's been an accident. Are you all right? Oh, no, Linda! Oh, no! It was me on the road. I... Wait! Tell him to watch out for the truck! Watch out for the truck! My... My God! Mark? vicious cycle, brutally punctuated by the blast of an air horn and screaming metal. Many roads are dangerous, but none more so than the one that leads away from Night Springs. Fascinating. Yeah, I can see why that's gonna make life a little bit difficult. Ah, damn it! I do not have a lot of health left. locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Okay. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. What about you? Oh, God! Look at the house, Al! Look out! Jesus Christ! Working on it! God damn it. Who the hell grows a hedge maze in their back garden? Honestly. stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy part, to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky <clears> split <throat> open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. That sounds like it's going to be absolutely epic, and I'm all for it. We don't want any 
fighting it makes me mad. Please tell me that's not the old man consumed by the darkness. You get two barrels in the morning, and then you'll be nice and cold all day long. Oh, thank God. You get three barrels in the evening. Jesus Christ. have the right equipment to be ducking and diving between these guys. I need flares for that. So I'm actually having to engage in the fights. <sighs> Old Gods of Asgard exists in the game's universe. Really? Interesting. I'll be helpful. Keep my eye out for pages so I won't miss them. Bloody possessed gates! <laughs> Being all possessed and shit! Okay. Uh, oh. For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay. Okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes. An axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. Disgusting freak. Hundred viewers? Yeah, no, this this stream's done really well. Appreciate y'all coming out, by the way. Seems like Alan Wake's a really popular game. Which is awesome. I'm really looking forward to Alan Wake 2. I don't know how long Alan Wake 2 will be, but we can try and go for a 10 hour stream when that comes out as well. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded. I <laughs> see, thank you very much for the 25 tier one subs. I thought you said you weren't gonna do that anymore. Time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down. That's a lot of money. In proper direction. 
Wake was easily the most promising Thank subject you. he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan. Hartman whispered with a smile. Yes, you absolutely Let randomly came across my channels, dude. Let's read. hard to clear his throbbing nose. How many subs do I have? Do exclamation mark sub count. Tasted it. Thank you, Satara. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Almost broken a second time. A little time to break. Wake down. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lost Memoir. That's very kind of you to say. Two times the length of this, so we can do two 10 hour streams. Or. Four or five hour streams would probably be more realistic for me. See you later, Ribbon. Sleep well. Ow! You're alive! Yep. Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh. Claim it. Hurry up! Hurry up, Barry! Come on! Come on! It's gotta be here! Just hang on, Al! Jesus Christ! Christ. It's a bad bloody time! Thank you for the 100 bits, Ava. Thank you for the gift of support tonight. You guys are... Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Al, please tell me we're headed for the Darcy, nearest... Darcy, if you want you're to be more nostalgic, feel free. Come back soon, son. Although you're meant to be saving your money for the, the bathroom, farm. so... I knew you were going to say Thank something like that. Thank you very much for support. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're going to buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm going to live in it. <laughs> I love Barry. Thank you for the five pound, Ava. You're meant to be saving your gun. Thank you very much. We're at 75%, almost beating our last record for the hype train. God damn, that's insane. Thank you. And thank you for being here, everyone. I'm crazy, but that's thank fine. Thank you for the tame mistake of Flamingo. <laughs> oh, you got Jesus that right, Christ. Al. You're barking mad. You are by far 100%. the craziest. But thank maybe you. that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is so happening, much. Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped yeah. in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Al, I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can Thank find you. her. There's something special oh, about man, this Oh, man, this is really the nostalgic. Lake, it, it does something to the works back of our when we averaged 100 it views. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. Feels good. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened really to should be Anderson. Spending on us I now. believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere uh -oh. at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Oh! Ooh. Yeah, dealing with asbestos is gonna be a nightmare, Darcy. I'm sorry. Ow. God damn it, Fair enough. I mean, house insurance, that's good. That's really good. Glad to hear that, Darcy. However, I, I, I am I content insurance. I ensure you no always have see. something to watch. Barry! Barry! <laughs> Everyone has to pay me oh, for content okay. insurance. Jesus, good to hear your voice. 
I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground That's a nice thing for giving to myself this entire Kami. Very much appreciate it. Thank worry. you. Your cutout is fine. Forget that. Are you okay? You guys are awesome. Bushes, Thank you so much. You get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down though. It's like a sheer wall. Ah, hell, there's something moving down here. Barry, it's a take it. Use a flare, Barry. Thank you so much, Darcy, for the 10. Barry, are you all right? Very much appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm and great. Freak up, Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? Jesus. I'll be waiting. Okay, Barry. Be safe. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Al, I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm going to go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Yeah. Jesus. He's a New Yorker. He'd be fine. That's not a New Yorker accent. I have a feeling that's the way the darkness doesn't want me to go, so I'm gonna go that way. Shit, I don't have a flashlight. Ow! Billy! Thank you for five gift bomb. Very much appreciate it. Very much appreciate. Thank you. Very kind of you. Thank you so much. Oh, God. Ah, oh, willies. Okay, this area is going to be hard because we don't have a flashlight anymore. Sharshish, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Very kind of you. Thank you. Seems like it's Zatara. In here. I'm late to what I do since the husband took my debit card with him to Costco. Darcy, save your money. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm one step closer to paying my taxes and my dream. When he stopped the car at the Anderson farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. Jesus. Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for the support. One minute and 40 seconds until the hype train ends and we can get back to the game without me being me, 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 thank you so much. Because I know that's annoying for people. Again, genuinely, thank you so much. I'm going to be annoying for a little while longer because that's an insane level of support. Hey, 4K Blaze, hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Damn it. Okay, I dodged the second one. Right into that. God damn it. Join awake. This game's amazing. I'm thoroughly enjoying this game. It is absolutely awesome. The shadows crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. Okay. 
Steak and Flamingo? Thank you so much for the five gift bomb. Is our record shattered? Hang on. Hang on. Did we just beat our records? Is that what that's saying? Hype! Apparently. Hype. Here, some music. Level 8 complete. Jesus Christ. Agent Nightingale stared at the past out. Thank you so much, Mistaken Flamingo. It's incredibly kind of you. hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion. But he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. Jesus. Um. Oh, here he is. I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. Thank you guys so much. That is incredibly generous. Yeah. Ow. I wasn't paying attention. I wonder if there's something over here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Yeah. Sorry, we got a flashlight with no batteries. I got it on. Oh, this game has been far more successful than I hope, Darcy. I was expecting 40 or 50 viewers because, I mean, it's an old game, right? But no, 100 people. Oh, 99 now. And honestly, I'm amazed at how good this game is. That I think that's what surprised me the most. I went into this game expecting it to be, eh, uh, eh, you know. That's why I've never played it before, because I didn't expect it to be good. This game is phenomenal. Actually, genuinely. I was driving away from the farm, headed wholeheartedly the phenomenal. Was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. And it's made me unbelievably excited for Alan Wake, too. Do flashlight. Get up. Thank you. Thermos. Batteries. Nice. Okay, let's go. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. Does exclamation mark sub goal still work? Do you have a Discord only for patrons? Era Gil, because I don't want anyone under the age of 18 in there because I'm not a babysitter. But if you become a patron for one dollar a month and then cancel it, that proves that you're 18 plus and you get infinite access to the Discord. I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. So not some he goal? was the one who'd been placing the pages on my- What was that command? Do X wish mark commands, Darcy. I think there's something like that in it. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next but it was still bound to follow the story and chained to the dark place it came from. I'm in there. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. Hmm. Maybe I deleted it. It was the one that talked about streaming for um, seven days a week for three hours if we ever reached 1,000 subs. I must have deleted it or must have set it up wrong. Oh well. 
I guess nobody needs to know about that. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, do you guys remember when that was a thing? I remember. I remember. You remember Pepper Ridge Farms? I remember. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. Yeah. Taken are filled with darkness. Pepper Ridge Farm members. We remember berries. We remember so you don't have to. I don't know why I sound like a creepy clown. You guys remember? You guys remember when clowns were creepy? I remember. Yoink. Yes, I did, Shane. I literally just saw it. <laughs> the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic. I need a shower. Patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. Interesting. So maybe we're going to meet them at the the farm. Maybe that's what this is leading up to, a confrontation with them, as they demand that we... Right... I thought that was a page, willies! Maybe they're gonna demand that we write a story in which they become young and popular again. Which, I mean, if you were old... Or maybe they're gonna demand we write a story to bring back their friend that died to leukemia. You're pre-Atari? The first console I apparently played on was an SNES. But I have no memory of that because I have quite bad amnesia for my childhood. And actually I have quite bad amnesia these days as well. Weirdly enough, I really struggle to remember things. Like my memory is so bad. It's genuinely terrible. You were pre-pong? Well, I was ping-pong! Haha! I win. I wasn't pre-ping-pong, bro. That would make me like 10,000 years old. Ah! Ah! I could see the car. But there was no sight of the driver. Oh! This is the one where the guy came here to drink and get away, and then he cried and drove away. Right? Is that this page? Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Barry! Ah! Ah! No! Danny! You're not! Ah! Please! Ah! What are you? What are you? Ah, no, don't! I'm sorry! Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Maybe not. Oh. I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went <laughs> to the farm again. For the moonshine, you know? It, it makes you see. They're, they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. But my buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. The best friends. Suddenly the bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway.
Wrong button. Poor guy. He didn't deserve to go out like that. I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way, near escapes, cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Okay. Our current record for subscribers is 350 subs. Ow. Let me guess. Danny, huh? Yeah. Damn. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. It's driving me crazy! Uh... For a moment, Hartman considered strangling the idiot. Mott was mean-spirited, but easily manipulated. An emotional infant who lived for his approval. Wake, by contrast, was a far more difficult subject. Mott had given him too much leash. In two days, who knew what could happen? Hartman would have to find a way to rein him in, and quickly. Before the darkness got me. Which, the darkness did get me, but I actually survived it. So, you know. Who's the idiot now? Alright, let's go. My flatmate has come home. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down Give me a second, chat. I'll be right back. I think she needs me. Sorry about that. Just had to make sure she was okay. Right, more driving. Let's do this. Farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting it. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry is Barry. Hang on. I saw that. I could go it on foot, but I'd make better time in a car. I'd also wouldn't be able to pick up a thermos in a car. There we go. I'm gonna go this way first. I wanna see what's up here.
I used to get in trouble reading underneath my blankets late at night. Need an icy thermos? I don't think that's possible, mate. I wonder if that noise I'm hearing is the noise of, like, someone in a diver suit rather than a woman breathing. Because we have seen Thomas Zane in a diver suit before. I used to get fussed out ridden with a flashlight under the covers. That was how I realized I had a miracle flashlight I never needed this battery change in three years. I hate to be the one that ruins that dream for you, but it's also possible that your parents always topped up your batteries to make sure that they never ran out in an emergency. Is that a sensible switch? We have 15 rounds for this. Well, as I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm yeah. we all felt coming is finally here. The boys at the Weather Service reckon it'll last until morning, at the very least. Uh, pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. The Sheriff's Department's still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. She may be lost in the woods, and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please make sure you get her indoors and call the sheriff. It's bad weather to be caught out in, so if you see someone in the area who maybe looks a little confused, give him a hand. I love this radio operator is my <laughs> favorite is character. On KBF FM, hoping you're all safe and warm tonight. Officially, like you guys are asking me who my favorite character is. One hundred percent officially, it's him though. He's got a nice voice, he's a great radio host, and he's very, very nice. Christ. Oh, God, dude. Is that a freaking firework? Huh. Why are there fireworks? Thanks, breathy person. Is 
Still don't know who you are, but thank you. I have no intentions towards your daughter, sir. used to be some kind of rock star. Jesus but it Christ. But really sunk in until I saw the stage. No kidding. Look at this. Ow! Run! It's coming! There's too many of them! God damn. So glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Watson. Shut up and shoot! Ow! We have to fight them all! I can tell off one of the fireworks from here and help you out! Okay. That's actually a great idea. My favorite, but Barry's pretty banging. Barry's pretty banging. <laughs> that was awesome! Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. <laughs>
What a champion. What a goddamn champion. Hey, Al! This way to the farm! Swap that out. We have more shotgun ammo now than we do. Hunting rifle. As much as I like the hunting rifle, I think shotguns are way to go here. Good lad, Barry. Good lad. Well, well, well. What a useless well. <laughs> it's just dirt. It's just dirt. It's just... It's dirt. In case you guys didn't notice, it was dirt. Why is this here? See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, no, no that's been my biggest worry all this time. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This Sounds is as good. far as I got before they ambushed me. No worries, dude. Thanks for your help. Right. I'm doing very well, Kev. How are you doing? I'm always right about everything, and if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend, Barry, <laughs> to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah. Considering we were just in a rock concert, to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? I think you could no? say I took him for so. granite. Ah, oh, wrong button. <laughs> Come on, Barry. Wow. <laughs> you look at that thing, Al. They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Yeah. I have like a long house going on here. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys before? I wonder and this if... from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV. I'm wondering if the darkness absorbs people's talent. Like, removes everything they've successfully created from history. Icy Crest, J41237. And Icy Crest unchained. Uh, yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hey, something. something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us. It's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man. I got a wife and kids. Please don't wait. Okay. 
Okay. Interesting. It kind of plays into the whole, um... Azathoth. Oh, my mouse just ran out of battery. That plays into the whole Azathoth. The blind, dumb, sleeping god thing where the idea is that we're all in his dream. And when he inevitably wakes up, we'll all just cease to exist. Uh, it's 1976. Madness Thank reigns you very much, Argyll. Farm. Contrary to all logic, the head east ingredient of their Thank you very much, is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Hmm. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Maybe we're going to use it as a battering ram, eh? That seems to be the case. Good going, Al. Thanks. That's their tour list. Interesting. It sounds like the darkness is really pissed I'm getting out of here, though. I can hear that. My mouse attack is kind of rough. I do not have enough mouse play. No worries, smugglers. Have yourself a lovely night. I think we can make it through here, Al. Through where? Hang on. <clears throat> Close this again. There we go. Uh, it sounded like his voice was coming from over here. Where'd you go, Barry? Ow. Jesus Christ. Do you have enough shit to throw? You goddamn assholes. Oh. Fuck! <laughs> Throwing so much. that time did we hey what's up Barry <sighs> dog no I want a two-lane road surrounded by trees this might not be the best game to tune into this time oh it's wow. a still those geezers had quite a production going on oh you know what Al if we make it through this alive I'm gonna still. start representing them Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. All right, no worries, buddy, have fun. We didn't kick the door into pieces for once. What a surprise! Be careful, Al! Working on it! Why is there so much shotgun ammo? Jesus. Du, du, du. You're walking in the woods. There's no one around and your phone is dead. Out of the corner of the eye, you spot a child of a f You okay, Al? Yep. I'm good. Keep your eyes open, okay? All Gucci. 
He's letting the strength of his foot. Yeah. Looking in the shadows. Hollywood superstar Shia LaBeouf. Living in the woods. Shia LaBeouf. Killing for sport. Shia LaBeouf. Eating all the bodies. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, biting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but definitely, Pat. <laughs> hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh, oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear, at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Again. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. Best character in the game. Love him. Love him, love him, love him, love him, love him. All right, here we go. And boop. Awesome. I could see the building that had to be the Andersons' home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. You weren't worried. Good to know, because I am marginally worried now that you put it like that. I really need more flare ammo. I burned through all my flare ammo. bit distant over there. Here. Valhalla? Valhalla! Oh, I need to open the... <laughs> Ipsy pipsy. <laughs> Just leaving Barry behind. <laughs> Poor guy. Doesn't deserve this treatment. Revolver, flares, okay. I mean, the flares are somewhat useful, so I shouldn't complain. Just wanted to inform you about modern day art agriculture. Is there a note in here? No. We haven't really found much in the way of notes recently, have we? Kind of crazy. I see a note over there, though. Yeah. 
not creepy at all. That does, that's a note, right? I'm not crazy. Have I missed that one? Like, can I not get that one now? Uh, hey, Nova. Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hang on. Hope you enjoy your stay. Hey, let's go, man. Where is that bear trap? It's on the wall. I'm pretty sure that's a that's a note. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. Okay. Ah! Hey, I think that's the form on the other side of the field. We're almost there. So close yet this so is far. A crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I hope you enjoy your stay, Nova. I'm glad you enjoyed the sleep experiment. That was a, an interesting game. This game is really cool, though. This game is so much better. Why is there a... Okay. This game is really, really, really fun. Welcome back, Ribbon. The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. Fuse boxes are normally on the ground floor. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Yeah. Yeah, Colonel. I'm trying to sneak around, but I'm dummy thick. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, get out of the way! Oh, Barry. Barry, always in the way, Barry. Get out of the. Oh, you're gonna be fired, buddy. Get out of the. Ugh! Is the fuse box upstairs in this house? That's weird. You know, this I'm very hyped for Alan Wake 2 as well. Old gods know the truth. That was a nice nice little gift from tier 1 sub to Nova. It's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much. Ooh, nice. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer. A time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. He's trying to write the answers in for himself. Hey, Reaver. How you doing? Can you hear that, Al? Music? Of course, we need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Anderson's talking about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be what's your face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Yeah, so they were telling about that. Or talking about right. that. Right, must be. Before I do that, hang on. There was something over here, wasn't there? There was something over here I could interact with when the power was off. Maybe it was in here. Oh, here it is. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? find her right and even though you're a crazy bastard i'm gonna stick by you no matter what ever al sure you're like a brother i'm a writer god damn it correct if i just wanted to i could write 10 books a year and and they'd be the best books that year no you couldn't that's right i couldn't but i could because i'm a writer what? <laughs> 
What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. It's rat piss. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Sweet. Meat spelt with an A, Wills. Oh. I thought that was the end of this chapter. Jesus Christ, this chapter goes on for ages. Oh, there's the body experience he was describing. Damn it. Oh, shoot. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. It was a crazy drunken dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth, a suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised Alice? to see the Alice? cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Beyond this lost Taylor, memory, nice. Thank you nothing. again so I much for the support. I the footsteps of my past <sighs> self to find out what had happened that night. I couldn't find her Very much appreciate blackness. it. Thank you I so much. I must have thought she drowned. I don't know what American Alice. Nightmare is, Nova. Jagger had Alice, Alice, and so she had me. Alice! <coughs> I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. A DLC for this game? Um, maybe not tonight. Because we've already been streaming for she six and a half hours. Into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice. Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice. You'll laugh at the whole thing together and put it Alice? behind you. She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed ah! her. Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice. And the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back.
No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. Thomas Zane isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my barber a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. Barbara. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. Holy shit. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Under right. the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together, we can create something absolutely wonderful. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Walkery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up, but uh, let's try to uh, hold it in until tomorrow and get through the night in one piece, all right? Someone Eva, thank you for the fight, fight. 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 Thank you so much. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Uh. Always in the light. Hello. 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 Thank you so much. That's a rage. How you doing? The pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken. It's been very good. How are you? I think. I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Ugh. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? Oh, hell. Hell, this is not good. Mm -hmm. That about sums it up. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, did Maskeda return, Darcy? Oh, Was he not able to stay awake for the whole 10 hours with a debit again. card? Uh, Max up Rage, this game has been we. phenomenal She's so the one far. The, song, the Lady of the Light. What, Thanks for doing this lady? game justice. Oh, Ugh, whatever welcome. you say, what Al, but we're stuck here. Night, They're not yeah. gonna... she was interviewed, Wake. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. <laughs> it's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder Over a federal agent. There's Jesus. no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there, Brett Easton Ellis? <laughs> uh, agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... 
Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> well, that's not good. Wait, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get, get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know this... Oh, no! Oh, my God. Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. Wait a minute, I know- Oh my god! Nightingale tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it. But it all rang true. Impossibly true. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. It wasn't the booze that made his mind real. Holy In shit. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow Holy me. Holy shit. Oh man. We're so Holy shit! Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before, read it in the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him, and dragged him into the night. Ducks with the light Chills. Down. Stay cool. I can get the emergency power on. Chills. Dude. Also, I've been eating Pringles on my breaks. Oh, uh, just on that one break I had right there. We're missing someone. You good, buddy? You okay? Oh, what? How did that happen? Okay. There's just a police car rammed them against them. Wait, what do I need to know? What do you need from me? They can be hurt in the light, only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light. Check. Cynthia. She lives in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Yes! Come on. A chopper? Yes! I am all on board for this. Wait, no, there's crows. Wheeler, I need you to stay here. What? No! We're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list, Maine. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. Okay. My hangover wants a pizza. You think there's any way I could order one, Al? I doubt it, buddy. My hangover wants you to shut up and get to work. <laughs> um... Hello, Mr. Breaker. Ooh. This is Barry Wheeler. Yeah, I know it's late, but listen. The sheriff, Sarah, asked me to tell you something. She says Night Springs. My favorite okay, reptile might so be Mike Tagu. She... Yes, sir. Okay, I... No, uh, she's okay. She's just busy, so she asked me to... Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, I'm a literary agent, sir. I'm just helping her out because she's busy right now. <laughs> Well, the one you'd most likely be familiar with is Alan Wake. You're kidding. Well, I'm glad to hear that, sir. I'll tell Alan <laughs> I said that. That's really nice. But listen, I really need to make some more calls here. Uh, you got the message, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, thanks, sir. Bye now. 
Hey, the sheriff's dad is a big fan, Al. <laughs> Says you're the best thing to happen to crime fiction since James Elroy. I think he was a little drunk, though. Yes, Masquita. How dare you not spend it here on primo content? Hello? I'm kidding. Oh. It's Barry Wheeler. I'm calling on behalf of the sheriff. Sorry, Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> Night Springs. Okay? Okay, bye. That's her job. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Barry Wheeler. Did they really record the line for every Night single Springs. one of these? Okay. Bye now. They recorded a line for all of these. Hello, ma'am. Sorry to bother you. Barry Wheeler calling for Sheriff Breaker. She asked me to tell you. Wheeler? Ma'am, she asked me to. <laughs> no, I'm. Yes, but the sheriff asked me to. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think this is gonna take a while, Al. You better get going. Okay, see you later, buddy. Uh, <laughs> I like how they just Man. gave up. Oh. Yeah, but. No, wait. Man, I, I don't think I've had a scariest I... moment. I guess when the train was thrown the at sheriff. me. Sorry, Sarah. But ma'am, I'm supposed to... <laughs> ma'am, just hear me. <laughs> the, these are all new lines still. How many of these I... did he record? But she said... Ma'am, I... <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, that's a loop. That's a loop. Okay, he's looping now. All oh, right. Wait. See you later, Barry. Ma'am, please. I... But the sheriff. Oh, hell. Whatever took Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. Okay. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. Okay. I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay? I like the fact that we're looping back as well. Ah! Ow! 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 Did not see that there. It'd be horrifying to live in a world like this. A world where there's supernatural is possible. While it would be horrifying, it would also be full of potential, right? Imagine harnessing this ability, the ability to create anything you wanted through the, the medium of story. Imagine the good you could do. Oh yeah, it would absolutely go horribly wrong, but it would be interesting. It would be very interesting. I don't know why the black goop had to have its own version of a bear trap, but there we go. Um, oh, I go down from one of these? No. Oh, I... Ugh. Climb, climb, climb. Electrician, hold on. Apparently, I'm an electrician. Oh. Ah. 
Never mind. That's smart. Good job, Wake. Okay. Black Thunder, thank you so much for subscribing. 31 months. Keep to the chopper or there. That is insane. Thank you so much. was a fight okay thank you so much black thunder it's incredibly kind of you where are we going fresh seafood fresh and shrimp hell yeah So why aren't we driving? May seem like a stupid question to be fair, but you know, it's my stupid question. I wanna see what's in here. Uh oh, it was well worth coming in here. God damn. Alright, alright, alright. The game that rewards exploration. I'm gonna want explanations, you know. For example, what the hell happened to Rose? She's seriously messed up now. The same thing I think happened to me after I arrived. During this week you can't remember? Oh, I remember now. <laughs> oh, I remember now. How convenient. <laughs> uh, boop, and boop. Barry was in his element, making calls, making things happen, even if he didn't entirely know what those things were. He wouldn't let the hot sheriff check down. Even if every noise he heard from outside, and he heard plenty, made him jump. Oh, no. He had only paused to text Al a message, told him to hurry up. Suddenly, Barry froze in mid-dial. A window broke somewhere in the building, and then the lights Oh, broke. no. Not Barry. Not Barry. <laughs> yeah, bell proof windows. I should really have that in every school in the country, to be honest with you. Sorry. All right, let's go. Actually, you can't really do that, can you? In case there's a fire. That's like a massive fire hazard. Having windows that are unbreakable. Uh, yes, Heller. That's why I pressed it. It went back to number six and it pulled up coconut. Alan Wake made a funny. Go in here? No. You have the right to die, Shadow Creature. Why are there so many poor poor boys? Wait, over here! There's light! Okay. I have 
have a key. Watch my back, Wade. Working on it. It's an ambush. Okay. Thank you so much for subscribing, Xander the Goose. Very kind of you. Thank you. 28 months. That's insane. We're running low on supplies. Let's go, Wake. Okay. Hey. Of time this game takes place in is a real place. Okay, I highly so doubt it. Fuse box here, but you should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. Oh, should I? I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? Fine. They should be in the clerk's office on the other side of the building near the main entrance. Okay. Gotcha. Thanks for your help, Sarah. Damn, we have manuscripts everywhere. Uh. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's face was furious. The story in the manuscript had been making it stronger all the time, but now the light had set the writer free and hurt it, weakened it. It was only a matter of days before the dark presence would be strong again. But meanwhile, it would be difficult to recapture the writer. Yeah. Is that the text? The message was from Barry. Oh, no, Barry! He wanted us to hurry. Please tell me Barry's not gonna die. I'm gonna be upset if Barry dies. Just saying. He's my boy! Barry's my boy! Flare. There's no key in here. Okay. Flax office. Here we go. A freaking lantern. Hell yeah. Give me that shit. Yeah! Helicopter okay, key! Sheriff. I got the keys. Flashbangs. Oh, well, that kind of just already confirms that we're going to get absolutely rocked here, aren't we? Sheriff? Oh. Barry? Why isn't he inside? Oh, God. He's alive! Oh, God. Barry, look out! Barry, move! He's dead? He inside, Wake. He's okay. Are you sure? The storefront's blocked. Come on, Wake. Let's go around. Okay. We'll meet him in the back. I trust you. I don't know why. Trust no one in the...
I got my eye on you, Sarah. I... Got my eye on Healing it. Keep my eye for any more written messages. We can make it through the bookstore. Hey, Wheeler should be waiting for us people? in the backyard. Get the hell down or I'll call the sheriff. I am the sheriff. Oh, hi, Doc. I've got it. Don't worry about it. Sarah, about time somebody showed up. All the shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days, they'll kill somebody. And over He's still wearing fish. his fishing ge gear. Oh, no. Go back to bed. He's got a point, Wake. Look, this town can't take this. It's me they want. The sooner I get out of here, the sooner you can all get back to life as usual. I hope you're right. Come on, let me get this door open. Wait, you got the keys to the bookstore? Perks of being the sheriff. A girl needs to get around. Oh, that's fair. Used books, bargain books, used books, bargain books, architecture. <laughs> they're really taking advantage of your presence Photograph. Here, Jake. I heard they're selling Fiction. a lot of your Alex Casey books. Right now, I'm not a big fan of my own writing. <laughs> he has a point. There's a note there. We'll grab it in a second. Very dark. Uh, wow, is there really nothing up here? Aw. Aw. I'm for sure there'd be a secret up here. Okay. Yoink. Cynthia Weaver worked hard, following her obsessive rituals, sometimes fighting them, always giving in to them in the end. She haunted the halls of Bright Falls' abandoned power plant. She marked her caches with light-sensitive paint oh! that could only be seen by eyes that had been touched by darkness and saved by light like she'd been. She was preparing to it's her! for the war she knew would come. The war between the forces of light and darkness. Cynthia Weaver, I owe you a good face-sitting session for that. You Barry. have saved my ass. Look, wait, maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. God damn, Cynthia, you have done me good. Seriously. You're what? Nothing. What are you talking about? I'm just saying the girl's earned her reward, okay? If she wants it. Yoink. What are many thermoses we've picked up so far? Also, I love that that's your first time chat, Cynical. <laughs> your first time chat is questioning what I said. How you doing, buddy? Welcome. My further notes. Don't see any. There's gotta be something over there, though, right? Ooh! Hey! That's pretty good! Something's pissed! Look at that! Yeah! Are you keeping all the thermos? Barry got back to the inside the Bright Falls General Store and dusted himself off. Right next to the cans of baked beans was a locked case filled with flare guns, and yet here was a conveniently placed barrel of crowbars. Barry's smile widened as he realized that this was the classic movie scene where the hero had to gear up and arm himself to the teeth. Barry threw himself into. I'm the really room. worried that Alan is keeping Barry alive to have the classic sacrifice moment. That happens in every book, and if that happens, I'm gonna be myth. Pastor Howard, a piece of my mind about this lock. Ugh. I told him to get it fixed. Here they come. I took a lever. It's, it's a spooky game, but it's not the scariest I've played. 
I am thoroughly enjoying it though, it's an amazing game. That was close. Okay, this game is great. Open. Let's go, Wake. This game is so good. Oh, God, I'm gonna be sad when it's over. Wow. We keep them lit all night long on the night before Deerfest. Why? Well, it's tradition. That's perfectly reasonable, I guess. For it to be free, the Dark Presence needed the writer to finish the story. Again and again, the story let it get frustratingly close to the writer without letting it capture him. It was bound by the events depicted in the manuscript, but it could pursue the writer indirectly, put others on the task, and stop those who would help him. Yes, I will, Darcy. It took over everything in its path. There's also part like DLC to this. this. And sent them after Alan Wake. When does Alan Wake 2 release again? Because we need to fit in the DLC as well. Almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. Yeah. There's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. <laughs> Somebody's taking a train to Spooky Crypt Junction. Do, 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 do. Adrian, I just drank some more coke. Close. Five. No, not no. What date, Ava? Twenty-seventh. Okay. So, so we have four days. If I take tomorrow off to recover from this long ass stream, assuming I don't get the itch to play Lords of the Fallen, um, I definitely won't be doing more Alan Wake tomorrow for the DLC. Um, I can take. I can tell you that one hundred percent for sure. But. Did you call nine one one? Oh, we Guess might do some large fun. Huh? You didn't like that one? A tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. What? What are the Christmas lights for? Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. Vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come on. I can see it from here. Um. Uh, Lord of the Fallen Sovereign. Awesome. It has been really good since I adjusted some settings. Prior to that, it wasn't very good. The Bright Falls General ba -ba 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 -ba. Store is now my favorite place in the entire world. We do not add social stuff. It's like a superpower. I can just look at one of those things and they die. It's my flaming eye of Mordor. Mordor. I wish I didn't say that. Yeah. Hey, I want a headlamp. Last one. Bastard. What did what did the carpenter say when he saw the shed with no means of ingress? It needs more door. Sorry. Alice had screamed until she had no voice left to scream. Around her the darkness was alive. It was cold and wet and malevolent and without end. She was a prisoner, trapped in the dark place. The terror would have burned her mind out, but one thing made her hang on. She could sense Alan in the dark. She could hear him. She could see the words he was writing as flickering shadows. He sensed her too. He was trying to work his way to her. All right. Ba -da -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Oh, I deleted Icy Crest Perfection, I think, Scully. Maybe? I don't know. Check. When someone throws a damn school bus at your head and you're about to take a helicopter ride with someone who may or may not have a pilot's license, or clear for departure to Night Springs. Night Springs! No venture. I know it, yeah. It wasn't used very often. 
I wish I had stats for how often emotes were used so I could cycle out the older ones. Do I? I'll need to look into it. Bright Falls Fire Department. Yay. The helicopter's just up ahead. I'll need a while to prep for takeoff. Okay. Don't take too long. I want to get out of here. Want to get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Hell yes, yeah, Sitara. Now go get some sleep. Thank you so much for watching. Be sensible and rest. <laughs> Genuinely appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoyed the content while we were traveling. One of the things that tells me that you spent too much time here, Ava, is the fact that you spent so much goddamn money on something that's free! Day. Oh, okay. Just get me to Weaver, Sheriff. You're taking a big chance on a local crazy lady, Al. 
I hope you're right about her, or we can kiss this town goodbye. I hope I'm right about her too. are used to rough situations like this. I've never had a trace on me. a war zone. King Kong, mutant alligators, and Alex Casey shoots the place up every weekend. Look, I never even carried a gun until a couple of days ago. Well, my dad used to be a cop there. Tells some pretty wild stories. Stuff like this? No, no, just normal bad stuff. Kind of like your books, Wake. I used to tease dad that he was just like Alex Casey. You've read me. Oh, sure. You're a pretty good writer. A little heavy on the metaphors, maybe. <laughs> Nobody's ever said that before. <laughs> We're coming up on the power plant. See the lit building over there? And that's the dam further up the river. I can't land here. I'll take her down the road across the river. Just get me there, Sheriff. Oh, shit. That's what I was worried about. The damn crows. That's a broken leg. Miffed. God damn sexy crows. I mean, what? So many flashbangs gone. I had so many flashbangs. am I doing? Do I climb this? No. The darkness controls the Taken. I already knew that. Thank you very much for letting me know, crazy lady. Maybe this way? Uh, is there something in here I missed? I had to do something about the chain for the door to open. Yeah, I figured I had but one. <laughs> Thanks. So helpful. Oh. Oh, it works the second try. Ooh, shotgun ammo. Well, that's a good sign. Means there's a shotgun. Yep. It's a shame because I did have max ammo for it before when I was on the chopper, but apparently Alan Wake has butter fingers and can't keep a goddamn hold of anything he acquires. <sighs> I had like nine flashbangs. Nine. And here's a new song from a band that, that they always remind me of our local rock legends, the old gods. I couldn't tell you why. I guess it's just, you know, one of those things. Anyway, here's Poets of the Fall and their latest single, War. Okay. I really need to... 
now. Christ alive! Oh, ho, 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 you cheeky dick waffle. Second guy got me. That was really close. Uh, I thought I dodged past both of them, but I didn't. I missed one. Oh, God. I didn't see any manuscripts in there, so let's keep going. The power plant glowed in the night. It was close, but I had to find a way across. Swim! Hey, still alive. How are you doing? Swim, swim, tea, swim, swim, tea, swim, swim, Suru. I know what you do when you are alone. <laughs> boink, boink, boink. Swim, swim, tea, swim, swim, tea, swim, swim, Swari. I bet you're weird when you sit down and pee. I don't know. I had my uh, flare gun equipped. I could have not blasted that guy in the face with a flashlight for half an hour there. My bad. <laughs> I never think of Mary Poppins the same again. Is that from Mary Poppins? I actually genuinely didn't know. songs I know but don't know the source of. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'll make you dead because you're a... Uh... Uh... Poo. There we go. I was trying to think of a word I could say that wasn't a horribly offensive. My brain completely froze up for a moment there. <laughs> Yeah, we're having none of that, mate. I drew. Oh, that makes sense with the context and the lighting. You know what? I like that. That was clever, Reaver. Um, Making her way through the water pipe alone, Cynthia was angry at the writer. Foolish young man, taking unnecessary risks. And the way he broke the rules... Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once, as hard as it had been. She was tired of protecting the town all these long years, and now Short only bus wanted to Sophie. rest. <laughs> sharp bus, Sophie? Sophie's got a sharp bus! That means an ass! Her ass is tiny! Cause she's a lass! She gave birth to puppies! We kept them all! Tell you what now, they ain't gonna fall. For your tricks, banana. Give them treats right now. No more sticks, banana. They want your biscuits down. <laughs> I'm assuming that's not the song that he made up.
This is way more offensive. I don't know what a short bus is, so that kind of precludes me from doing whatever that is for my song. Be wearing a member of the band kiss. Uh, Lazy Bulldog, this is Alan Wake 1, and it has been phenomenal. I'd never played it before, uh, and this has been my first time playing it, and my god. Genuinely, one of the best horror games I've ever played. It's not, like, disturbing or gory, it's just a good horror game. A short bus is saying you- oh, so like mentally challenged is the short- Oh my god, I actually- I learned about that! Um, when I was watching Simon Whistler, the, the, the fag boy, the short bus, I literally watched a video not too long ago about a serial killer who was messed up in his childhood uh, because a bunch of kids were bullying him and saying that he was going to be on a short bus. I was like, what the hell's a short bus? He's like, what the hell's a short bus? I was like, oh, well, we're in agreement then. And he's like, oh, the author is put down here that the short bus is where all the mentally challenged kids rode. The oh. story I had written in the cabin had come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written a horror story, but the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice. I highly doubt that's gonna happen. We'll see. We will see. If you've ever wondered why The doggy turbo gave a cry It's because his mommy wouldn't make his dreams come true he wanted was a biscuit, a biscuit, a biscuit. Would she even risk it? A biscuit. Sorry, <laughs> I'll stop there. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Sniffing for shrimp, lost in a dream. That's kind of a kill song, actually. Obviously not so great that, you know, Sophie's going on the sharp bus, but... Oh, nah, that's pretty good. Excuse me! Oh, I thought it was turning back for a second there. I was really confused. Oh, hello. Survived. Sick. Yeah. You lost the flock by sending them towards me, you assholes! Oh, hey, TV. Are we men dreaming of being butterflies or butterflies that dream of being men? Such philosophical concerns are by necessity abstract. I like to get the flare gun for more important things. Subtitles.
Really? But what is it? Oh, it's a Absolutely no. show dudes what a weird show thanks for the light can you keep the light on me please <laughs> you were close. Ten bucks to anyone who guesses what that's from. Ow! You were close. I wonder if anyone will get that reference. Okay. Really? Okay, okay, okay. Think Professor Oak. And think Nintendo 64. You were close. Pokemon reference? You don't get points for that when I said Professor Oak. It's a specific... Yeah! Air Gale! There we go. Someone has taste in here. One of the best Nintendo 64 games. I did not realize that was what I had equipped. Whoops. Safe haven. Yeah, when I, when you took a picture of a Pokemon, but it was just off from being a good point picture. He was going, "You were close." Signifying hidden caches of supplies. You tried real hard, but you're a piece of shit. You were close. <laughs> Miss Weaver, Cynthia, I'm a friend. Prove it. Uh, you knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. You can help me. About time. Young man, I've been waiting a very long time for you. Pokemon Stadium was the best Pokemon game. Pokemon Snap was bloody close, though. Uh, we did, it's Darcy. We finished that game, didn't we? Room. <laughs> Excuse me? What you need to drive the darkness back. The well-lit room is at the dam. I built the room to keep it safe. Will it help me find Alice? Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. We won't go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You've been breaking the rules, young man, and where has that gotten us, hmm? <laughs> Secret route, a lit route, old water pipe. Oh, really? Now that sounds good. Uh oh. Something was damaged at the transformer yard. It's raining all the 
preserve power. Without it, the pipe will go dark. Yeah? The power to the yard must be cut. Let me guess. You want me to do it. And you have been breaking all the rules, mate. It's your Young fault. Man, you're the one who likes to break yeah, exactly. the rules. <laughs> I can't be outside. <laughs> I nailed that. Dark. Kill switches outside. Okay. I maxed out on batteries, lazy bulldog, but thank you. 20 is the maximum you can carry. Pokemon start a long time ago. Power to the transformer yard. I was willing to do grunt work for her to get her to help me. Oh, hell yeah. Weaver was dependable. As I, I said, into this crazy world a little over a week ago. She had been living this insanity for decades. No one never go at night. Alan Wake, as I said, you are going to lie down on your back, open your mouth, and let her go to town on you. <laughs> she literally saved your life like a bajillion times. I could see the kill switch that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it. That one's versus, yeah. And we can do that one, right? Yeah, there we go. Nice and easy. Until the crows show up, of course. And then it's like, ah! Ah! The Corvids are here to fuck up your day! Keep the lights on, rule number two. You ever seen a Corvid want to murder somebody? Ah! That's our job! Oh, I shouldn't have used the shotgun for that. Whoever designs these things. Uh oh! Oh, that's just fucking swell, isn't it? Shit! The transformer yard went dark and dark. Weaver's water pipe passage should now be good to go. Here comes the darkness! I did not dodge that one time. Ah, wow! Okay, my bad. I should have had my flares equipped before I ran in here. I was trying to equip them and it did not go well. I just threw that right off the cliff. If you're not gonna get out of the way, I'm just gonna shoot you with a shotgun until you get out of the way. That's how this works. You gonna let me in, lady? There we go. So long, suckers! You had four kids at the end of 96? I was born in 96. It's gonna be my birthday in six months. Jesus Christ, it doesn't feel that long since this my last This way, birthday. young man, follow me. Come, come, the pipe's empty now. We're ready to go. I'll be 28. This way, we need to go. I knew them both, Tom and Barbara. I had such a crush on him. Such a beautiful man. I was jealous. There was a part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. Mm -hmm. And then Tom started writing and, and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. Yeah. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. The 
witch looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. Which explains oh, why there's no writing from he Tom. He was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. Oh, Tom. He left only one thing behind in my game, in case it happened again. I curse you, Thomas. Insurance. Too. He trusted me. Or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt. Knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room and put it there. Curse. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story you have written. And none of us will survive to see the end of it. If the darkness isn't stopped, she'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom. That's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me. In television, from beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light, but the darkness stays with you. you need a hand there, madam? <laughs> Very slow pipe. This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Damn, that was Hello? a fast Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. It's Sarah now? Whoa! No! For the sweet love of- Barry! Is that gonna turn Barry! the lights out? We gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. Oh you my god! You must reach the well-lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend! Oh god. Oh. Well, be a fool. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. And that's a broken femur. That would have been hilarious. He's like, ah, I can't move. Worry about her. She knew how to stay safe. Imagine a mod for this game, where it's. Exactly like this. It is Alan Wake. Except Alan is in a wheelchair. <laughs> roll back a little bit. You shoot your shotgun, you just roll backwards. <laughs> uh, Sarah was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound, like a table saw gone wild, as a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the rotor. The chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Oh, whoops. Sorry, I cut it off. Was not paying attention there. I can make one if you're right. Like. On the mid to master iron crows. Sight looked bad, but as far as I could no tell, no bodies in there. The wreck was empty. Yeah, which means they headed up here towards the light. Ooh. Nice. I don't see any manuscripts.
<laughs> you know when to make an entrance, Wake. We yeah, know when to make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. You're out of breath, I buddy. Be all right. How's that? The flaming eye of Mordor. <laughs> yeah, that's not funny, man. Didn't we have somewhere to go? Weaver Something. will meet us at the dam. Something up here. <laughs> I can smell loot. <laughs> How much ammo do I have for it? 11 is just not great. Yeah. If I had more ammo, I absolutely would do that, but not with just 11 rounds. <laughs> Ba -ba -ba -da. Ba -ba -ba -da. I don't think I've ever been interested in anything other than a book for eight hours. Well, you have four minutes to leave, Ava, so you don't break that record. At four minutes and 40 seconds, exactly. What are you saying? Hello? Aster's having sneaky conversations without me. I see how it is. Where did the other one go? Nothing moves like that. It's impossible. Did that kill the other one with the flashbang? Ah, Al, do something. Oh. He's too fast. I can't get a shot. Don't worry. I got it. Any idea how much longer this game's going to take? I have no idea, Darcy. I'm Was sorry. That it? Are we safe? Um, it did that say was... ten and a half yeah. hours average playtime, but I've been doing like quite an in-depth playthrough. So it could hey, be anywhere Al, from three I to five hours. Feeling. Let's keep our eyes open. Can we, can we just stay here until morning, Al? Please. Which means this is officially the most Wait, I've worked. The elevator. I'm keeping watch. I think I hear something moving around. On a stream, for. Ooh, how long? How long has it been since I last did a super long stream? That's been a while. Like, normally I limit my streams to a maximum of five hours. I think we had one five hour stream. Oh no! Oh no! They're coming! We have to hold them off! I'm working on it! How long was the Bioshock one? Uh, we had to stop the Bioshock one halfway through because I got. Like we had to split up into three streams, one for each game. Uh, because I got Magrin, if I remember rightly. But then that stream also bought my new computer, so. Hey, thank you very much, Masto. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Shock on the channel three times now, like the whole series. I don't think we're ever gonna do it again. I'm gonna be honest. Unless Bioshock 4 is announced, in which case maybe we'll do another full playthrough of all the games. We're almost there. Yeah, Darcy gave a lot of money for that PC on that stream. The whole community came together to get me a better PC. She's got something Zane left behind. It was so heartwarming. And I'm currently playing on that PC now. Could you be a little more vague? Thomas Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. Let's be careful, okay? Sorry, I missed out on it. It's fine, Reaver. Don't worry this. about it. 
Okay, wait. There's a button over there that opens the door. I'm pushing the button. Push the button and let me go. Push the button down so we can get in. Oh! Okay. What about me? Dingus. All right. Yeah, that's true, Darcy. <laughs> how? How? Wait. What's going on? We can get to the dam through here. What's happening out there? I have things. You guys go ahead and find Weaver. She should be in the dam now. I'll have to make it alone through the top. Okay, wait. Good luck. Don't get yourself killed. I'll do my best. Please be careful. I'll take good care of Barry, wait. You just look after yourself. <laughs> oh, that was handy. Are you kidding me. Very convenient. <laughs> Thomas Zane knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. Hmm. Sorry, what's up here? I would have thought there'd been a note or something up there. They're having a couple of obvious places where I'm like, there should be a note there. I wonder if they only show up on Nightmare Difficulty for those ones. Well, that's really bad, right? I was ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. Don't get a shotgun. Trust me, I've done it. Like big booms and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When the bomb comes in and goes kaboom and everything goes shrapnel, I'm like, damn, son. Ow. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll stop here. <laughs> this boost, dude, it makes it. You will go no further. G 
Jesus. Yeah, I don't think a flare gun's gonna do anything to that. my fitness in. Just getting some cardio going. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. There we go. There's an old army base. Right, I'm already much fair. It was active during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. Car jump He's just getting his cardio in. Look at those star jumps. Great farm. Because six and thirty-three and one eighteen need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. It's on the final page of the manuscript. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Finish her. Fatality. I had a hangover. My head was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Alright, that go for you, buddy. Oh! Uh, the sunglasses cool. made the world look bearable. Cool little trick. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. 
And pain pills. I hope they're prescription. Yeah. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. Shower time. Bath time. I really, really want a shower like this. Right? It just seems more comfortable than having a bath and a shower combo. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. Oh, oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh, 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 oh. The dark place was an endless waking dream. I saw visions carried by the ebb and flow of different dream states. They seeped in from the reality beyond. Things I had a connection to, but also things I couldn't possibly know. I used them in my writing to make it real, so that the parts that weren't would become so. And there were visions that I knew were not real. Ideas I had lost, often of Casey. I had written about him for years. I used them as well. The lies had to feel true for them to become true. Had I always written this way? Even before, seen things without realizing I was seeing them, thinking they were mine. Was this what inspiration was for me? Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Darcy, I just scanned it. Sorry. Did you guys not hear that through the mic? Aw. I was trying to play it through the mic. We did? Okay, good. Alice wasn't too mad to record it. And she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. Al, look, I'm saying this as your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show. Bye. I guess. Yeah. Dee 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 dee. Hey, gorgeous! Hey, honey. Did you watch the show? I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking? Oh, my God, Alan. I should have followed her advice. But suddenly I was angry, mostly at myself, and she was there. A convenient victim. Alan, grow up, dude. Fucking hell. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Wrong button. <laughs> Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Really? Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. <clears throat> really funny, Barry accidentally discharged her Good luck, pistol. Gal. Like, oh god, no! No! See you later.
When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I'd flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Okay. Holy Jesus, that's a long drive. <laughs> Reference to another game. It's been a long year. I know you're tired. And you're alone. Sure. In daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Yeah, I mean, if you're insane with the number of people you've killed already, you may as well write it, right? Hello? Eh, I prefer this car. This car's a bit cooler. You know? Speed limit's 50? I'm going 52! Ooh. Yeah, I'm feeling a pickup. Ba-da-bam. Master Bridge, did you never see the movie by Adam Sandler? I believe it was called Click. Having a remote that fast forwards time for you is not a good thing. Well, I tried to get through that way. I was not planning through that. Kill your wife. Final and trying to do the two DLCs. No, no, no. We'll do those another day. Um, I've already been live for eight hours. The dark presence was no longer Unless trying someone to capture like, the writer so he could create the ending it wanted. I don't want to say the this because it's too much. He was too strong, and he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the writer from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. <laughs> I was gonna say unless someone does like a crazy donation, then I'll feel then I'll, I'll totally do more because I'm not really tired right now. But I'm really worried that that would come true and someone's gonna be like, "Oh, I have to donate so that Icy will do stuff," and that's not the the vibe I want to give off on this channel. As much fun in games as we have, that feels a little cruel. <gasps> yes. Yes. Welcome back, Chef. My hopes and dreams. This game sucks. I'm all that boring. We're done. Dream's over. Go home. Well, if someone counter donated so you could rest, well, then I would feel even more guilty. I don't think we quite thought it went through. Although, there might be a manuscript up here. Hang on. <laughs> You've been breathing smoke inside this trial of fire. But you got through. And I know Based on the, the signature in the motel register, wrong. Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. You're still present, you're still strong. 
Hold on All your pain and all your tears You're still resolute You're this still This is obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Jesus Christ, this guy was obsessed. My brother in Christ! You scared me! Ow. I touched right into that. Give me a second to recharge. Hang on. Stop it. There you go. I want this car. Damn it. I want this car. Damn it. Okay, I guess we'll go get our other car. And I know the world's gone wrong. You're still present. You're still strong. Hold on. I can see people up ahead. I'm gonna run them over. <laughs> ow, ow. Okay, maybe I won't run them over. The car's a little bit damaged. Can I drive on the little sidey thingy? <laughs> Aww. Ah! Foiled by invisible walls! Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Oh. The game really does not like this. I'm gonna get it. It really did not like that. Oh, willies. Hang on. Oh, willies. Okay, we can go around. All right. There's still 91 people watching. How many of you have been here from the beginning? Sound off if you've been here from the beginning. Is that the deer float up ahead? Me, me, I, I was an hour late. An hour late, how dare you? just really sad, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Oh. Ow! Smeg off! Damn sentient industrial spills. God damn those damn industrial damn spills. Not really sure what I'm doing wrong here. Not really sure what I'm meant to be doing here, to be honest with you. Try flares. Drop a flare right here.
what's happening right now? <laughs> God, Jesus Christ in heaven. Half two, how are you still playing? Well, now the game's not over yet, is it? We're at chapter six. I think this is the last chapter. So. Unhelpful camera. That that's just that's just amazing. I just got pinned in the corner. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! Will we carry the players instead of stopping them. The, the so you're misunderstanding what 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 the, the game a little bit. Um, these things aren't being stopped by the flares. I'm throwing the flares down to slowly drain down their darkness and hopefully break them before they fling at me. So carrying the flare wouldn't bring down their darkness and break them. So that's not great. <laughs> but we made it. Oh my god. I don't see a manuscript. Is there even any manuscripts in this section? Oh yeah, there is a lot. Jesus. Oh, I haven't seen any yet. I 
can squeeze through here. I can't squeeze through here. Okay. Cement bridge, yeah. Oh, God bless it. Oh, the darkness was the friends that we made along the way. I think you need new friends, sentient. God damn it! I'm so happy for it. I bet it really, really appreciates being able to pull off the pounds. Uh, here the we go. of Cauldron Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The dark presence brought them up in its wake, scattering the rotten waterlogged hull of an old boat here, the remains of a long ago crashed airplane there, trees shattered under the impacts, the earth groaned, it didn't even notice. I was sending a message to Brett. Oink, oink, oink. Sweet! <sighs> you drivable? Thank God for that. I'm honestly surprised the lamp lady didn't have a, uh... A car tripped out with lights. That seems like something you would do if you were fighting the darkness and might have to go out at night. Just have a car covered in spotlights. Like, I mean, covered. Floodlights everywhere. Rim lights underneath as well. Just, just some good, solid lighting, you know? Don't come to life, please. Thank you. One of the pages say the lamp lady was the evil that's cause of all this? No! No, the lamp lady was the guardian of the flat clicker. It wasn't actually called the flat clicker. I just keep making references to VLDL, hoping that other people in here like them. Can I buy a flat clicker? Oops, sorry. Hang on. What does that say? Okay. Young piles may shift. Hazardous. Lovely. I am amazed you could always oh, want the speedy guys. That's how he caught up with me. Did not mean to use that. Did not know I just picked up a flare. I did mean to use it that time, though. I hate fighting those guys. <laughs> yeah, why didn't she eat glow sticks for breakfast? Inside of her is darkness. Did she not know that? Oh god, I wonder what she did to light up the inside of her. I don't know if we want to think about that. I see, as being the one that promised I'd mug her off if I ever saw her again. 
free laptop with your USB. How many of those laptops have you given away, Rowan? You got a page? I already read it, dude. Oh no, His I didn't. Alien cut its heart out. Thank you. But it didn't die. The thing that wore Barbara's face kept crooning sweet nothings, sugar laced with poison. He put on the suit, untied the monster from the chair. The thing in his arms thrashed weakly, but he held fast. He stepped outside, off the pier, and into the dark water. A sinking pinprick of light descending toward a bottom that never came. And that's how he made it sleep the last time. Until we done woke it up. Like a dingus. Oh, that's not good. Thank God it's not very smart. Uh oh. No. No, it's still stupid. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. Come on, you can walk under that. Uh oh, there we go. Oh, because some creative wanted to write some shit, right? God damn it, Alan Wake. Keep it in your pen. Uh, where's. I'm assuming there has to be something around here. No? Maybe this is another area where there would be like a nightmare note. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. I don't the one track mind. Darcy with the puns out here. There you go. Okay, Goofy. Nothing <laughs> trying. Damn, this thing kicks out like a mule. Ow. God damn it, that'll buff right out. Don't worry, chat. I know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> Love that. Maxed out on everything, apparently. When I told Barry my plan back in the well-lit room, I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't. I was operating on the shifting logic of a dream. I had <laughs> to fight my way mother. to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old oh, bandit light life, switch then. imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. I know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no gas in it. Oh, well, this is a boss fight, isn't it? God bless it, American stupid. God damn it. Here we go. Woo. All right. Let's do this. I will never give her to you.
shit. Tracy, this is the North Party. That's why this is Tornado Alley. I'm sure if I was American, that would be absolutely hilarious, Darcy. I thought it'd be looting here. <laughs> She's so vulnerable. <sighs> China in my house. What was the artist that. What was that? Who did that? That's not Meatloaf. Is it? White Snake? Could be White Snake. No, White Snake was more rocky. She's so vulnerable. And I don't understand. I could see Mirror Peak in the distance. <clears throat> That's where Cauldron Lake was. God damn, we got a long way to go. I could never hurt the one I love. She's all I got. Doink, 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 doink. Am I Mario Karting this shit? Uh, apparently not. I think I'm stuck. I. I think I'm. Oh, nope. <laughs> Here we go! Ah, shagging hell. Donkey Kong Country. Uh-oh. I'm going to be going up there, but what's down here that they want to keep from me? Ah, nice. Once again, that's an extra lick for the lady. God damn. Really saving my bacon here. Just fix that. Those are great games. I, uh, arrogate, I don't know how long you've been here for. I don't think you, I think you're new today, aren't you? Um, I think you'll find, and you can ask anyone in chat for verification of this that I am good at a lot of games. One of those games, one of those game genres I am definitely terrible at is platformers. Platformers and me do not get along. Jump King, Bennett 40, or in the Blind Forest, or in the Will of the Wisps. That's, there's a reason why I've never played Hollow Knight. There's a reason why I've never even done a stream goal to play Hollow Knight. As much as I know everyone would love to see me play Hollow Knight. Same for Celeste, I've never played Celeste. That's because Darcy isn't you, Enbra. Oh. 
Hollow Knight is not for the faint of heart. <clears throat> if you guys want to see... You know what? If I ever do a stream fundraiser, I'll do Hollow Knight. How about that? Because I am sure you guys would find that absolutely hilarious. If I ever do another stream fundraiser, I'll do Hollow Knight and I'll do a bunch of those like advertisements that I made in Paint and Photoshop. Um, just talking about how pissed off I must inevitably be. This feels like the wrong way, but it's the right way. I just make more of them anyway. They were the best. Believe it or not, Enverath, for stuff that looked like absolute garbage, they took a lot of time to make. And coming up with the ideas for them were really hard. Hollow Knight looks like a little nightmare game you played. Oh no, Hollow Knight is... Hollow Knight's more similar to Ori and the Blind Forest, Darcy, that we played. <clears throat> Actually, I think we played Ori and the Will of the Wisps more recently in the Blind Forest. Cool camera. That was very uncool. Please turn around. not before your time, Darcy. Hang on. Um, oh, God damn it, there's no steam overlay on an Epic Store game. Another reason why Epic Store sucks. I'm not sure if that was meant to happen, but that was insanely cinematic to have that guy jumping at me while the shit was exploding. Came out in 2020, so it's possible. Oh, that's a shame then. Ori and the Will of the Wisps was amazing. Have you not? It feels like you've been around here forever, Darcy. It really does. I still don't know why you chose this live stream to be the one that you support. It makes no sense. There's so many high quality live streams out there. Banana. What is that a boat? That is a boat. Banana in the sky, evidently. That is a bigger boat. Uh, Ow. The shit was that? Oh. Uh, Ow. What the shit was that? <laughs> the boat. <bone. laughs> oh no. We threw a boat at him and it missed. What should we do? Throw a bigger boat! <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisps was the sequel to Ori and the Blind Forest. No, it's a uh, Darcy. It's a platformer. Uh, but it's a platformer with combat. So you have to do multiple things at once. So you have to, like, watch for stuff hitting you and dodge it. 
Like I went to Hawaii in March 2020, came home and never truly left the house for anything enjoyable since. Well, Darcy, if you stop giving, if, if you stop supporting me, stop giving me your money, then maybe you would have money to go back to Hawaii. Also, COVID happened, which, you know, kind of put a big dampener on all that as well. But, but still, you know, if you were sensible. If I knew December 2020, okay. You signed up for Twitch just for me? I don't know if I'm impressed or not. <laughs> Obnoxious, dude. Uh, I hate fighting those guys. Ugh. How did you find me, Darcy? I don't think I've ever asked that. Oh, no, 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 no. You found me on YouTube, right? Through Phasmophobia. I think I remember you talking about that once. Yeah, the YouTube Phasmophobia screen. God damn. What, that it might be the least financially smart decision you've ever made. <laughs> you've, 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 you, this is an investment that had no return for you. Uh, you found me through Generation Zero Green Gold. Uh oh, that's not good. I don't even think the hours of content I've provided could come anywhere close After to the dream gone, you gave me. I stood alone in the shifting dream that was the dark place. I had to find a way to the cabin. <clears throat> I'd written myself a way through this place in the manuscript. I followed the idea of a path. I'd written myself across the ocean that blocked my way, and with that, there was a bridge to the island beyond. The idea of the cabin... I didn't have reptiles when darkness. Darcy first found me, Ember. Real, and it was... If you die tomorrow, there'll be a lot of very upset people in the world. If I die tomorrow, the world will be a better place. Except for the people who want to know how the book ends. It sucks to be you. <laughs> Turn back now. Lady, I know you were trying to stop me, but you kind of just. Oh, I can't climb on this. I'm still technically haunted. There we go. I honestly thought I'd be able to just climb over all that. Ow. Here we are. Do as I told. No. Ow! I just got punched in the face by a rock. Oh, what that hurts? Surprised there's nothing coming up behind me trying to kill me. Never loved you. That might 
have been the biggest jump scare in the game so far. That got me. I don't know what the hell they were putting in the water here, but it was more than enough to turn the freaking frogs gay. Jesus Christ! I hope this clicker works. I see one dark nid was here. a bad dream it was just another nightmare no everything's fine you're home it wasn't a dream everything's fine turn the lights on turn the lights on Alan wake's gonna be terrified the of the out. dark there's no light come back to bed and I'll make you forget all about your fear nope my fear it's your fear why aren't you afraid? You're not Alice. Turn the lights on now. Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Alan, you're scaring me now. Come back to bed. Have you taken your pills? Do you want me to call Dr. Hartman? Excuse me. I read your manuscript. It's brilliant. Departure is your best work yet. You're a genius. I'm so proud of you. Come back to bed. We'll talk more about it in the morning. Come back to bed, Alan. Come back to bed, Tom. Um. I'm sorry, why does that say clicker? Is that meant to do that? That looks really wrong. Like, that looks like a bug. Okay. 
This looks wrong. Like, it looks like these are these names aren't meant to be here, but I guess they are. I want a bird. Hi, bird. Aww. I figured out why she didn't die. He missed. That's not where the heart is. <laughs> I am he cut out you. her solar plexus. Older <laughs> than your first work of art. <laughs> I will find a new face to wear. Uh, someone, someone else to dream me free. darkness isn't gone, which probably is a bad thing. I could feel Alice's presence close by. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to If departure. you write Alice back, you'll just be bringing the there's darkness back, and dude. darkness cause and effect there's guilt and there's atonement but the scales always need to balance everything has a price oh. that's where Zane had gone wrong he's gonna off himself but bring back Alice and there's scratches the dark the version of him into the light. Five sixths of the residents of this village have died.
I'm assuming Alan died and be became the the cost. So she was the price to live. He was the cause. No, yeah, he was the cause, and she was the effect. I don't know, Darcy. I mean, Scratch exists, apparently. Whoever Mr. Scratch is. Thomas did say that my friends would be seeing Mr. Scratch later, which implies that Mr. Scratch comes back and Alan doesn't. still scared of the dark. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. <laughs> 